Welcome back, everyone, to Call of the Conch, episode... Uh, I believe we're on episode five now. We're up with our main party today. Um, back on the island of Tillamanduk. Um, for those of you that may be new to the series, this world, this region, uh, is built around the pre-colonial Filipino beliefs uh, and a lot of the gods and the dealings that they have. But not only that, we are also incorporating into this region the different stories and belief systems from a lot of the other Pacific Islanders. Uh, and we're getting to all learn and, and grow and become a bit more cultured based on what our characters get to experience. Uh, we are down a player today. Last Strider, uh, he may be joining in later, he may not be. Um, but as of right now, we do have Squishy, who's playing Gretna. Uh, Hello. Fem Femji, who's playing Kai. And myself, who's oh. playing Lorton. Um, and we have two new guests uh, with us that will be introduced a bit later in the episode. Uh, that being said, Gretna, would you mind giving us a... Uh, a bit of a recap for the last session that we all all of us were here together for yeah so um we came to this island well y'all came to this island um y'all found out weird things were happening um children and people are going missing in the woods ships are going missing in the sea um when some return they're damaged didn't nobody knows how or why um, the Babylon Callahan, um, they invite us to a feast, uh, or invite y'all to a feast because y'all killed, um, a shark that has been, um, impacting the island. Um, Rufius, um, finds a plate of food and is walking to go sit down and shoulder checks me, a native, um, that uh, is here on the island, and that is how I enter this story. Um, while we're eating, um, he asks me to tell him about what's going on. I know nothing. Um, even though I am from the island, nobody really knows what's going on. Um, then we meet up with Lorton, um, who tells us that we need to go see Billon. Um, so we make our way up the mountain to see Bill on. Um, then we find out that we need food for the feast. So we go to hunt some game. Um, we come across three elk. Um, while we're waiting, um, Rufius tells us his backstory um, about his twin brother who passed in the town fire and how he saw a goddess take his brother to the afterlife. Um, and then... We see the three elk, we fight them. As we are killing the elk, we have a displacer beast come and take out one of the elk. Um, so we now have this beast that we're fighting. Um, we end up killing the beast, and now we're just hanging out with the, the elk and the beast carcasses, waiting for Billon to come help us. Um, we did also hear a strange whistle in the air um, before the displacer beast um, came upon us. Um, so we don't know if that was Billon or if that was something else. And then we decided to take a long rest and that is where we are at. So we're just waiting on Billon to come find us. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, uh, there's really not much I can add to that. <laughs> uh, after uh, after thinking about this fight, um, I think we would recognize that that whistling sound uh, came from the displacer beast trying to startle one of the elk. Uh, this guy up here... Um, was the one that it it mutilated. Um, but as as we're waiting, 
why don't we get a uh, perception checks as we're resting? Uh, let's see. If my computer will like to think. Now you broke good. Oh yes, and Kai is back on the boat. Waiting for us. Okay, perception. You rolled a 12, let's see. Nat fucking 20. First roll of day. Automatically, it doesn't automatically add in our proficiency, right? Uh, it does. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Lorton kind of pieces together that that whistle was actually from the tentacles along the, the muscular uh, structure of the displacer beast. And uh, it's been about, it's been about maybe 30 minutes since, uh, since combat ended and he suddenly goes, Do you hear that? Uh, I, I I hear nothing. Pat, it, it sounds... It sounds like a... Almost like a cat. And he comes up to see if he can get a bit of a better look around the forest opening. And there's a slight rustle in the trees uh, up in the northern part. And even with a 12, you notice that there's a rustle amongst the foliage at the base of the trees, uh, even from your distance. Lorton pulls out his mace, ready for another fight. <sighs> Let's just hope. And out walks. I don't know if I have a token for this. I probably don't. Uh, I don't think I do. No! I don't. <clears throat> um, out walks a small kitten. Well, when I say small, oh. I mean probably roughly the size of a medium dog. Uh, but it's very similar in looking to the displacer beast that we just slayed. Kretna, do you see that? And he points with his mace over to it. Over there in what? the bushes. You're up here with me now. And we're actually... Yeah, I'll move up there with you. We're actually kind of circling up here. Do you... Do you reckon that's the baby of any points of a thumb over his shoulder at the other one? It, it was a mother? And the baby is just chewing away at this half mutilated carcass. I, I think so. What? What should we do? I don't know. I mean, is it going to a 
attack us? I mean, if it attacks us, we kill it, but it's it's a baby. I don't I don't feel quite right just attacking it. I don't I don't know what to do. Um Well, here, here goes nothing. Let's uh, see if it's friendly. Uh, this may go awfully. <laughs> uh, but why don't we both give an animal handling check? Oh, no. <laughs> or, okay, what do you think? Oh, no. Oh, no. He rolled a seven. Oh no. 18. Okay. Okay, um, you're better. <laughs> so, Lorton, he kind of crouches down and does the old. Here, kitty. Here. And uh, you, <laughs> you see. These, again, small, small to medium-sized dog size. These paws just clamp up over the uh, the shoulder blade of this elk, as uh, this little kitten, a little gray kitten, with two tentacles that are about five feet each, coming off of its shoulder blades, just reach over and rip out part of the stomach of the elk as it starts eating some of the meat. Here, here little fella. and I don't think that's a little fella. That's, that's a big fella. I, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go over there. Do I have some kind of token? Tell me I have some kind of token. I probably don't. You know, just because I think it's funny, we're going to use little willies. <laughs> and we'll say he's like right here. Come on, little guy. We're not here to hurt you. Oh, okay. Um... Let's... I'm going to roll a nature check. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to roll a nature check to see if I can even consider that it would make it into friendship. 13. Um, it, so, the little kitten looks up. As it's got its little whiskers and mouth covered. And it starts kind of growling. <sighs> Greta, what does that mean? It means get away from it, Lorton. Telling you to leave it alone. Come back. But we could have a pet. Lorton, did you not just see what that bigger displacer beast did to that elk? Uh, what do you think the little one is going to do? It may have tried to disembowel me, but think of how much that could help if it was on our side. Yeah, you'd get disemboweled. Again. Roll persuasion for me. Okay. <laughs> 16. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, I'm going to roll insight against it. 18. Wow. Well, you're right, but what if it disembowels others for us? You saw how strong that thing was. 
And he'll take another two steps forward. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. If that thing jumps on you, I'm not saving you this time. Okay. Uh, let's. Do I have anything that can help in this situation? I don't know that I. I. I am going to ready my short bow and have it pulled since you're getting closer with an arrow in it, just in case I have to save his ass. Okay. Again. Okay. Um. Okay. So here's how I want to handle it. Um. This is going to be a series of checks. Uh, Lorton is going to try and approach one more time and get right up on the elk. Um, this is going to be a DC 16. Uh, if that works, we're going to have a DC 18 of him trying to pet this thing. Oh, dear lord. If that works, we're going to have a DC 20 of seeing if it'll at least follow us back to the village. Okay? Okay. Here, little guy. Here we go. Oh no! Oh! No! No! I'm so glad I got my arrow ready. Oh Jesus. It's, he takes the step forward. Both of the tentacles go straight up, and it's uh, kind of like um, trying to make itself look bigger and more intimidating oh no 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 little guy no little guy it's okay it's okay next uh, he's gonna try to reach down and grab some of the innards of this elk to offer it to feed to eat it i'm gonna move forward okay a little bit and then get like right here so that way i have a Clear shot of the the kitten. I feel like I'm gonna have to kill a kitten. So this is now because of that first failed skill check. We're gonna bump it to DC uh, nineteen. DC nineteen. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's okay, little guy. It's okay. And he pulls out like one of the really uh, long pieces of intestine. Here, here you go. Here you go. And he like tosses it to the displacer beast kitten. Uh, and. The kitten, while still being leery of him, does start to eat it. We're one and one. DC 21, as he reaches in to pet the kitten as it eats. I'm gonna move around Lorton and take a few more steps forward. Okay. Kind of lower my bow just a little. Uh, as, as he reaches in, okay, let me get this piece up, because 
I did not think this was going to go anywhere this direction. The dice. With that, as he reaches in to caress its its face and try to get it to nuzzle him a little bit, both of the tentacles slap down. The first tentacle, going for his arm, misses. The second tentacle, going for his face, hits. Uh, and he takes two points of bludgeoning and two points of piercing damage as the teeth on this tentacle and the hooks and barbs just scrape across his face as the displacer beast kitten turns to run away uh, so it's four damage ah fuck you little bastard I told you not to touch it, Horton. You gonna take the shot? Yes. I am going to scream that at him, and then I am going to let my arrow go. Okay. So... I'm on. Work with me here. Woo! 23 to hit. Thank you. you hit. Roll me some piercing damage. Hell yeah. Mess with my fam. Eight points of damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, this arrow just... Or are you using... You're using a short bow. So this arrow just flies, yeah. and as it turns, uh, the arrow smashes into the back of its legs, and you hear a little whimper as suddenly two displacer kittens go running off in opposite directions. And back two of them? into the foliage. Did that just split into two? Oh. That little bastard. Oh, my face. Thornton, I told you not to touch it. <sighs> did I tell you not to touch it? I told you not to touch it. Oh, did I tell you not to touch it? I told you not to touch it. Yes, you did. I just thought it could help us in our journey. Oh. Uh, and he is going to Min. <laughs> cast uh, he's actually not going to cast anything he is going to like try and bandage himself up um, and I'm going to roll medicine on that uh, DC we'll say We'll say DC 12 if, if it works or not. <laughs> uh, so he, he reaches down and rips off a part of, uh, of the shirt that he's wearing and like tries to securely wrap it around his face, but it, it, it covers part of where uh, this, this kitten slashed him. But not really. Uh, and you can tell that it's going to leave some scarring. Oh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't think that we can probably use this elk anymore. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and Do you think we could eat the Displacer Beast? 
Perhaps. I, I don't really know. I've never faced him. Damn, his voice is everywhere today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lorton's gonna head back down to where we originally were. And, um... Rufius, why, why don't you go and see if, uh... If any of the villagers can at least meet us halfway. Uh, we, we still gotta figure out how to get all of these back to the village. Um... And in that moment, uh, Bailan comes uh, from the direction that the elk were in. And uh, he just comes in and, and surveys the carnage of everything that happened. Oh, the... Uh, they did come to you. Good, good. This is a, a glade that uh, that my father and my grandfather always hunted. They they said that this this glade always provided when the village needed it most. Oh, it provided. And I walk up to Lorton. Um, we do have a, a bit of a problem, and as Bailan clears uh, this tree that we were just at over here, I don't have a token for him, uh, he sees the Displacer Beast, and visibly he's shook. One of those was here? And a kitten. It was a mama. And you guys killed it? Yeah. It almost killed Lorton. We had to. He, <laughs> he rubs his face and his stomach at roughly the same time. They're, uh, they're not very nice ones, are they? And... The look on Bilin's face, he's just completely dumbfounded that we were able to slay a displacer beast. Babylon Kailahon. She needs to know. Yes, we, we need to bring this, all of this back with us. Well... Maybe, maybe not that one, as he points to the the one that the baby was chewing on. I Yeah, that one's done. I wonder if this is what's been making people disappear. Um, and with that, he's going to like hold the displacer beast by by its head and like lift up its its jaws and open its mouth and there's just an audible crunch as he lets go and the teeth snap together again <laughs> yes we need we need to get these these back especially this one um Do you do you have any ideas on how we could carry all this meat back? Me? No. I just killed him. I, I don't I don't carry. I mean I can, I guess. Okay. Well, um, Wasn't 
Wasn't there a third one of you? Oh yeah, he. Uh, we sent him ahead to see if he could get someone to come up here and help us. And uh, with that, Villain will nod in agreement and um, begin quartering out the the elk. Um, leave. Leave the other one whole. That one. That one needs to come back whole. Um, time's gonna pass, and eventually the uh, the other villagers actually make it all the way up to us, um, and help bring all of the meat back to the village, uh, and we we make our way back there as well. Uh, at this point in time, it is roughly. I'd say about five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening. Um, and as we get back to the treetop village, um, you can smell all of the different foods that have been cooking. Um, you can hear all of the laughter and the joy among the people. And you get a sense that, especially as a native, to this community that um, there was a lot of sadness around the village uh, uh, around the city as, as people had gone missing and nothing was really getting done about it um, okay Uh, all of this meat gets brought to to one person uh, to get cooked up and proportioned, and uh, that's good old Philanders, <laughs> where you guys got the ribs from originally. And he just looks in shock as all of this elk meat comes in. That's uh that's a lot of meat you guys got there. Um Would have been more. You, that's is that for tonight? Alright. He purses his lips and and says there's there's too much here. We can't cook all of this reasonably in the span of he looks up uh, at the sun that's starting to set. An hour? Two hours? Hmm. There is enough here to last quite a while. Maybe, maybe they'll extend the festivities. Perhaps, perhaps you guys can bring it up to the Babylon. But, uh, you... Just leave it, leave it there. Leave it on on the table there, and I'll I'll start working what I can. Um, as we had entered the village, uh, Bylon separated from us, and a few of the other villagers who were helping carry the displacer beast uh, took a turn in into the direction of Babylon Calahon's house, um, and we. Is there is there anything that you'd like to do while we're here in the market? Uh, no. Okay. Uh. Okay. As the sun sets, we make our way. Uh oh, do I have this map? I don't know if I have this map put in. We'll find out, shall we? Ah, nope, it's a, it's gonna make me do that one. Unfortunately. 
Okay, we are going to take a brief pause. As we uh, just finish up our conversation with Philanders, a uh, hulking behemoth of a being walks by us and looks approvingly at the um, the meat offering that um, that was brought forward. Which uh, hold on, we're gonna go back on that bit. Um, uh, after we deliver all the meat to uh, Phil Anders, uh, we start making our way back to where it was mentioned that the party or the festivities would be. Um, as we get to the areas nearing the Babylon's home, uh, we see a person that seems to be, for lack of better wording, floating. Uh, as we walk down this pathway, um, McDuffie, can you describe what your character would be doing in preparation for the festivities? Floating is a word you could use. You could also say just light and wistful, but also angelic at the same time because you see in the radiance his, you could say, floating form carrying a pan flute making the most beautiful music you have ever heard in your life. A bright, big smile uh, crosses Lorton's face uh, as not only is this music is so pleasing to the ear, he uh, kind of bumps you on the on the shoulder, Gretna. It looks like they got some entertainment for tonight. And as we look past this Erganasi, uh, we actually see Kai sitting there already enjoying the music. Kai, what would your character... How would your character respond to... Uh, this music that we see. We're going to put you right about here. Give me two seconds. I would be sitting on one of the quote unquote quieter tables. The ones that are actually playing the music, you'd just be looking over at them in not wonder per se, because I forgot the fucking word. <laughs> but he's just sitting there enjoying the moment. Enjoying the fact that he's not being ripped to shreds by a shark. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, one of the main predominant smells coming over this area is actually the smell of that cooking shark. Enjoying the scent of the shark being dead. <laughs> and it being quite delicious as he had, he had already went up and got some. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Let me see. Um, as, as we've made our way, there, there's a lot more people than I could ever have tokens for. 
uh, to this <laughs> main area where there's a bit of a bonfire, uh, but there's also a large clearing of space as the, celebra the celebrations begin to get underway. Um, not only is, uh, w what instrument are you playing again? A uh, pan flute. A pan flute. So not only is there this beautiful pan flute being played, um, there's also a lot of drums going on as a lot more of the other natives begin to pour out into this open space uh, in their grass skirts and they begin some more of the native dances. Um, I wish I knew for the life of me the names of the Fijian dances. Um, One of them was the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> You might not be wrong. <laughs> um, oh my god. Uh, let's see. While being distracted by all of these noises and the flashes and the fire, the shadows across their their bodies. Um beautiful, beautiful headdresses that have been made, the shell necklaces uh, glinting off of that firelight. Um, McBubbles, why don't you roll me a either a stealth check or a sleight of hands? Well, let me, let me actually ask let me ask this first. What would you be doing Sorry. in this party? A lot of movement. Uh, and my character definitely likes to blend in with the crowd, and she's very light on her feet. Okay. So she's probably dancing around with the other dancers, kind of just getting into the move and trying to see if somebody might have some valuables on them. All right, with that, as Lorton walks Ooh. past, why don't you roll me a sleight of hand check? We were And I, since I'm so <laughs> distracted about everything. Okay. Um, are you familiar with D&D Beyond? Um, no. <laughs> okay. No, that's perfectly fine. So, uh, if you're looking at your character sheet, you'll see one yeah. really long column in the middle. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all of your skill sets. Uh, the numbers on the right side denote your modifier. If you actually click on that box with the number, it'll give you that roll plus your modifier. So you got a nine. Oh. Um, I'm actually going to roll perception so much at disadvantage because of all of the noise and the music and the distractions that are going on. Okay, so disadvantage. First roll is 17. 17s. Perfect. You managed to get your hand uh, on my bag, my, my coin purse, and right as you go to pull away, Lorton's massive hand catches your wrist, and he looks at you and... Tonight's a night for celebration. Not thieving. No idea what you're talking about. This just happened to fall into my little thingies. You should keep better uh, eye on your stuff. Here you go. Thank you. And he'll let go of your wrist. Um, you do have a bit of an echo. Um, I don't know if you're playing audio through speakers or something. She's in the same room as me, so it's probably uh, echoing off of my mic. That might be. Uh, let me... This is probably not going to be the coolest dancey dance music, but it's what I got for right now, so we'll uh, add it in. Um, off at the uh, 
other end of the dance floor. We can see Rufius enjoying all of the meats that he can uh, as he tries to honor his brother's memory. Um, tons and tons of dancing as, as the night grows older. Different, different styles, different games are being played. And in fact, uh, Bylon comes up to us and he wants to challenge us or any one of us to a very simple game. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know if you've ever played bocce, uh, but he pulls out three big rocks. Uh, four big rocks. Is, uh, is there any one of you who would like to play a little, a little game for maybe, um, maybe a few days worth of rations? Is anyone interested in um, taking a gamble? I don't have much on me, but I'm down. Uh, Lorton will grab uh, a few drinks. There is alcohol if your character's partake in that. He is going to enjoy much kava uh, <laughs> as, as we play. I partake. Um, the goal is simple. And he holds up the big rock. Uh, are, are you two the only one that want to play? He calls out across our whole area that all of us are. Right. Ooh, games. I like games. Let's stop this for a second. Ban, take five. Toss a thing? And toss a thing. Okay. Uh, do you guys... You know what? Look, look around real quick. Okay, and he starts handing out rocks from off the ground and he holds the biggest rock in his hand and he opens up first round is for one day's meals uh, all of us are in yes yeah. let's go I'm in okay. I can toss some things around so here's how the game goes uh, he's going to throw the big rock and whoever gets the closest to that rock is the winner of the round. So how we're going to do this is we're going to roll flat d20s. He's going to set the number that we're trying to get to. As he tosses the, the big rock It's nice and low. Uh, our number, our target is three. Who would like to go first? I volunteer as tribute. He gestures to you. Go ahead. Okay. So I just throw the little rock thingy at the big rock thingy, right? Yep. You want to get it as close as you can. <sighs> okay. Uh, so, there you go, 14. Stronger than I look, I guess. Who's next? I guess I'll go. This seems easy enough. No, I did not want to do that. Sorry. 
Let's go. 20. Okay. Ooh. Maybe better luck next round. Lorton will take his turn. 16. Now! Ah, damn it! He looks... Gretna walks up. Let a pro show you how it's done. And I just toss the rock. Very professional. Woo! It bounces off the top of the other rock and lands super close. And I take a bow, and that's how it's done. He motions to Kai. Words failing me at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of responses, I just can't fucking say them, Jesus Christ. You gonna play? <clears throat> Kai's passing. He's just watching and laughing. I guess that leaves it to me. And the winner is... Gretna. So. Boom, baby. Gretna. Go ahead and add a day's worth of rations for uh, four of us. And we all got to drop that ration. Do -do -do -do. Rations. Dropping. I've got to find it. Uh, Big square box. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, I got it. Perfect. I'm not as dumb as I seem, I promise. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. You don't seem dumb at all. Oh, just you wait. Can't be as bad as Kai's stat rolls. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no matter how bad you do, you will never be as bad as Kai's rolls. Oh, I got pretty close today. Or Lorton's battle rolls. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm supposed to play support, okay? <laughs> it's not much better, but I was in the last session, so. Um, Lorton's going to take a big, big swig of the kava. And uh, he is going to say, Another another round, as he's already starting to get drunk. He can't really handle his alcohol very well. And we're, like, two drinks in. So, this night's going to get interesting. Um, he starts patting around in his backpack, and he's like, I, How about this? And he pulls out his water skin. Sure. Anyone else got anything to offer? How about I, hold on, how about I offer up one of my prized possessions, my bagpipes? Oh. A big smile crosses Balan's face. Sure. If you would like. Can I uh, look around and think about things for a minute if I want to auction something off? Sure. Asking for a friend. I need to find a friend. Excuse me. Don't get no dirty fingers over there. Or sticky fingers, I should say. My fingers are happily clean, thank you. It's the coins. They just fall right into them. I saw what you did to Lorton. That was not <laughs> falling into your hands. 
it oh. it slipped. I was I was personally just grabbing it to hold it in my hand. I <clears throat> wanted to rest the coins. <laughs> They're soothing to the soul. You're their shininess. Shininess. You know what? <clears throat> Make this really interesting. Even though he's already bet in, he reaches into his pack and <laughs> pulls out even more stuff. He pulls out all of his uh, extra sets of clothes. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Do Do you really want to do that? I don't. I don't know if that's. I. Okay. Oh. Okay. We can make this really interesting. Uh, I have something, and this is Balan speaking. But, uh, well, we'll see who wins to get it. I'm good for it. I'm good for it. He is. He is. And Lorton goes and picks up drink number three and four. Lorton, you are hurt. Slow down. No. <laughs> He's only got one life. Let him live it. Just no. I want to see how this goes down, actually. Higher stakes. You should get more drinks. I got higher stakes. Gretna, are you in? Um. Yeah, I guess. And I pull out my best dagger to offer up. All right. Kai, you jumping in on this one? Oh, no. Nope. He's just gonna watch. Alright. Bylan's gonna set the... Uh... Set the line. With a 13. So it should just be... Damien and Lorton and Berlin. Alright, so I, I would like to try to cheat. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Um, how are you going to try to cheat? Um, I would like to use Mage Hand to just kind of knock it in the direction where I want it to go as it's leaving leaving my hand for, like, better stability. So, are you... Okay. Are you trying to use the mage hand to carry it to the spot? Or... No, I, I just want it to, like, kind of be... In, uh, I almost kind of want to use it as, like, a backboard. Okay, so you want to hit the rock off the mage hand. Yes, but in a very nonchalant way. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to say no. There's going to be a set of rolls. Uh, if That's fine. Just this, make me roll stuff. <laughs> um, I just need you to understand. Because you're not... Uh, what is it? Githzerai? We can all see your mage hand. <laughs> So do you still want to go for it? You can see the mage hand? Yeah, mage hand is colored. Uh, Githrazi are the only ones that have an invisible mage hand. Visible. I didn't see, didn't know. I did not know. Um, in that case, I would still like to cheat, but I'm going to think of another way to try to cheat, so okay. skip me for now. <laughs> Okay. I'm cool with you trying to cheat. 
I'm just no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Either, just give me for now. I'm gonna think of another way to try to cheat. I, either way, I'm gonna have you roll deception, and uh, it'll come down to whether or not we get advantage on perception. Right. If we, if we see you cheating. Um. Okay. Lorton, drunk as fuck, taking it at disadvantage. Um, and and the way that these are gonna roll with advantage and disadvantage for this particular game, uh, the advantage will bring you closer uh, on the closer die, or disadvantage the further die. So his first rolls a six, and his second roll is a seventeen. Uh, as he goes for a bit of an underhand toss, he stumbles a little bit too far forward, and it it lands at the six. So I am seven away. Gretna watches him stumble. Lorton, I told you to slow down. I'm okay. I'm okay. I need a drink. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. So Bylon will take his turn. Actually, we'll save Balan's turn for after Damien. Okay, I, I thought of how I want to cheat now. Okay. All right, so this is going to be ridiculously hard to try to pull off, but I'm going to try to pull it off. I would like to, as I'm throwing the rock to where uh, it needs to go, I would like to try to distract everyone within the vicinity to look a different direction. Okay. Uh, As I kind of, you know, go just a little bit farther and gingerly place it as close as I possibly can without getting caught. Okay. Uh, how, what are you going to do to make everyone look away? I am going to yell very loudly in a direction and say, hey, look over there. Um, okay. We can do this. I can offer a suggestion for you. Go ahead. If you might. Go ahead. Go um, one, another thing you could try, I do see you have suggestion on your bard. Lorton's pretty drunk. He he might miss no matter what. Um, you might be able to pull one over on Bylon, but everyone else, they may or may not call you out on cheating. Um, or uh, that's one thing you could do. Uh. I'm honestly surprised it doesn't give you gust. Being Eric Ganassi. Uh, it gave me, it gives me feather fall. Uh. I almost... Okay, so we can leave this one to the group and rule of cool it, depending on how y'all feel. How would y'all feel about the idea of being able to cast feather fall on objects? Yeah, that that was my original idea, but it, it says creature, not object. Yeah, but I'm, I don't know. I can I can see how it would make sense to be able to cast it on objects in various scenarios. I'm all for entertainment. <laughs> here, here. 
I'm cool with it if you, if you want to cast it on the stone. And then if we come into a situation later on, we can address it again. I'm, I'm not, not going to disagree with something that's going to help me do something, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I do it! Uh, go ahead and cast that feather fall. Um, and I'll give you advantage on the roll. Um... For the throw. All right. Uh, do I just roll twice then? Yeah. All right. I roll two times. Seventeen. Oh no, one was a 12 and one was a 5. I uh, I clicked the D20 icon twice and rolled two D20s. Oh, okay. I thought that they would roll separately, but they, they rolled together. One was a 12 and one was a 5. Okay, so you got the 12. Yes. Um, go ahead and roll Deception. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So I'm going to give you a violence roll. This does not have a modifier, but we're adding a plus three to it. Uh, this is his perception check because he's he's looking at the stone seeing where everyone's landing and this is to see if he notices how slowly your stone falls so 18 plus 3 21 whoa 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 why did it hold on hold on and he's going to make his throw. Look. Look, look. Lorton, look. Watch how fast mine falls. And you remember how... How slow his was. Watch, watch. Question. Would you allow me to also cast Featherfall on his as well? <laughs> that... Oh my is god. a beautiful question. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let me, if it's a touch or if it's a just sight. Do it. Do it. Because I mean, the you'll... first one I use my free use, and yep. then I also have actual uses of it as well. I am. Uh, nope, that's the wrong spell. It does not require touch. So I'm going to say you can. You can. You're going to give him advantage on his throw. Okay. But you I, can. I have, I have cast my feather fall on okay. his. Uh, okay. So his first roll was the 18. And then he got the 12 as well. Oh my god. We're on So rollies. as you see, we <laughs> see that yours uh, fell at the same rate mine did. Lord, Lord looks good to me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck! I lost again? <laughs> no! Okay. I call bullshit. No bullshittery to be had here, miss. Mi uh, miss, right? Yes. Okay. There is no Her bullshittery is Gretna. Here, miss. What? Gretna? Damien. Damien Bellows, nice oh, to meet you. see if Kai notices him do anything. Since Kai's watching. 
Sorry, say say that first part one more time. Let's see if I can roll to see yeah. if Kai saw it anything. Yep, and you're an arcane user, so you wouldn't have a better chance at recognizing if something happened. Uh, so go ahead and roll in on it. Uh, give me perception. Oh, Connor. Oh, perception. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, the deception roll was eighteen. So you fail the. Uh, it it all looked fairly similar. You might not have paid too much attention to Lorton's rolls, but. Um, she actually made that deception was sixteen. Thought it was eighteen. No, just de- deception was sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, you're right. You are ah. Right. She, she saw talk, clear through me. Talk your mess. And puts his hand on the edge of Nasi's shoulder. You lying son of a whore. <laughs> you used feather falling or whatever the fuck it's called. Hey, 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 hey. You know hey. for a fact you can be able to land that. Hey, hey. Now. Uh, I don't know what you're doing coming all accusing on me. I'm just here playing a friendly game. Ah. It's a friendly game where you want to win regardless. You're a con man. That's all you are. Uh, um, I would like to go and whisper into your ear if possible. Listen, I will give you five gold right now. If you just let me have this. I haven't had anything in the past 14 days. I have been standing here playing a pan flute for these people trying to just put some smiles on these faces. And all I want is to not get rid of my bagpipes. I bet my bagpipes. Would you please? I am begging you. Just let me have this. Did, hey, what you whispering okay. about over there? Did, did we? Did any of okay. us hear that? Can we roll to see if we heard? <laughs> Series of rolls. Um. Okay. How long did so, I end on a boat? Um. What do you mean today? You've been there all day. Wasn't it? Um, like getting to the island. It took us like two months. Um. So first roll, Damien. Yes. Um. I need you to. Oh, this is hard. I don't know if. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, you're good. I oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Way to break the DM. I know. <laughs> I'm just playing some DD, okay. guys. No, you're good. So here's here's what I'd like you to do. Um. So, you're gonna go to your normal dice okay. uh, on the left side of the screen, and then hit your D twenty, and. Tell me what options it says when you click the down arrow. Uh, self, everyone, Dungeon Master. Okay, hit Dungeon Master. All right. And then I need you to DM me uh, if you are using Persuasion or Deception. Okay. Uh, through Discord, right? Yes, through Discord. Do, do. I'm gonna look at your modifier, and that's gonna set the bar for what everyone else needs to roll. Hey, hey, fam! I need you to roll really, really low, okay? Okay. Okay. Um. So. Next roll, Kai. Please roll 
an insight check. That is a not one. That not one? Okay. Okay. Um, How do you stick your whole caloric and fucking um, dice trail? D and D. D and D. Now, Gretna and Tiancy, perception checks from each of you. Okay. He's a perception, right? Yep, perception. <laughs> That's garbage. <laughs> Even the digital dice hate me. Okay. Both of you, you don't hear shit. <laughs> Kai, you believe everything he said wholeheartedly. Uh, and in fact, to a degree, you actually feel quite a bit of compassion towards Damien. Um, now, Belan is just confused as hell because he's he's like tossing another stone up and down, trying to get it to feather fall again. <laughs> um okay so you both are sitting at 12s so we're gonna have rollies we're gonna try again um okay and this is just between you and billum okay so he's gonna go pick up the big rock and set the next line all right which is an 11 Okay, okay. So is he going to throw first? Are you going to try and cheat again? <laughs> of, of course. He, okay. he thinks that he's going to uh, just throw, and if I don't keep doing this, it will absolutely blow me away. <laughs> so. Okay. He gets ready to throw, and he tosses. Um, are you doing and, the feather fall trick again? And I will be using feather fall again. On his stone? Yes. Okay. Dang, how many spell slots you got? When, uh, 12 is the number one. And 14 is his other roll. So his score is the 12. What? It did it again. So go ahead and take your rolls. All right, now I'll be casting Featherfall on myself as well. Uh, and uh, that's 2d20s, right? Yep, one at a time, please. Yeah, it's one at a time. Okay, 19 and a 4. As confused as he was, a, a chuckle leaves. <laughs> well, looks like uh, winner takes all. Thank you for playing. And he's well, going to collect all of those items. Hell excuse yeah. me, I never got to go. Why are oh? you taking my shit? You were playing? Oh. Mr. Cheater over here started cheating and y'all just started going at it. Nobody else Bruh. went. Bruh. Okay. I totally forgot you threw your dagger in. That is on <laughs> me. I totally forgot you threw your dagger in. Um, wow. Okay. Wow. okay. Now I take it back. <laughs> no, we could play another round. We could play another round. Just you and I. Not an, if, 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 no one lose uh, my dagger. No, she can uh, go up into here because uh, uh, she would be part of that. So I would probably need to cast Featherfall like three more times. Well, I mean, you've you've already lost, so he's he's not too worried about it because he he won. Um, 
If that's your call, Gretna. You want to risk your dagger? I think I had more fun watching y'all play than I did playing myself. So I'm going to take my dagger back. Okay. I got to okay. I got to delete my bagpipes. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, so a lot of the it never went. <clears throat> a lot of the things that are involved in the items of the world, um, you can find people to try and craft them as long as you bring them supplies. Just so you know. Um, okay, well that was awesome. That was fun. Uh, Belen walks away triumphantly. <laughs> <laughs> with his new set of bagpipes, his new clothes that are way too short for him, and his new water skin. Uh, and as the merriment of the party goes on through the night, Lorton just gets more and more drunk. Uh, until the point that he, um, he, he blacks out. Um... And at the peak of the merriment, Babylon Calahon comes out. And she addresses the people around the fire. Everyone, everyone. Whispers go through the crowd as everyone begins to kneel. The music stops again. And she says, as you know, the, the people have been struggling these last few months. Pamayanan has been struggling. Our city. Some of you have heard, some of you have experienced that our families have gone missing. And there has been a lot of darkness around. This is why I have returned. I have been traveling the other islands, the other cities, talking to the other Detu to see and learn if they are experiencing similar things and as of last a few are but it worries me that we are we are celebrating today for our good fortune she motions to Kai Gretna Lorton, Rufius. And as Damien and Tiancy are sitting with them, she broadly sweeps to them as well. We have newcomers, as many of you know, who brought troubling news of more attacks on boats before they can get back to the marina. We've lost fishermen. We've lost gatherers in the forest. But we've been returned these, these people who have brought goodness to us. This feast, the shark that was plaguing our, our marina, it is gone. Bailan reported to me earlier with a few more villagers, a few of our own, that these great warriors Slayed this, and she motions towards her home over here. Uh, 
Sorry, little Willie. You're popping out again. As five gentlemen come out bearing the carcass of the displacer beast holding its head high as everyone turns to look and a bit of fear is, feels palpable this beast was in our woods our forest close to home I believe that this beast was the cause of so many of our missing Tiancy Damien please give me perception checks Alrighty. It has been. At least I'm in the doubles this time. Okay, I saw Damien. Uh, I saw Damien six. Yeah. <laughs> and with the twelve. Okay. Uh, Damien, you're enthralled with the words that this this woman speaks with everything about her visage from the feathers and the plumage around um, her top her midnight black hair the dangly jewelry she wears Tiancy you notice a breeze that flows through the clearing as the fire dims a bit and as she raises a hand and you almost sense a shadow of a great serpent coiling around her body seeming to flow with her natural features oh uh, These people, they have brought much to us, and I am happy, yet I fear. The spirits speak to me of the forest, of the ballot tree. Um, let's see. Kai. Will you give me... A history check. Nice. Tiny. Nice. By one good roll. Fuck yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ballot tree. You've heard of the ballot tree. You've grown hearing the stories of your people's origin. Of the gods singing to the ballot tree and bringing your people into existence. You always figured it was more of a folk tale uh, because so much time had passed and that tree had never been seen or heard of again. And yet, here this Babylon is talking of the spirits. who spend their time around the tree. It catches 
your attention, to say the least. The spirits whisper to me that not all is well. There is darkness engulfing this tree. I wonder if this is part of the causes for our problems. Every once in a while, things happen, but things are far too consistent across far too great of an area. I am afraid of what these whispers mean. But tonight, tonight is a celebration. These great warriors, she motions to you guys again, have not only brought us safety in the lagoon, in the marina, Perhaps safety on the oceans, on the waters as we fish. But I've been told they brought us even more to feast. As they went with our hunters earlier today. Some may be a bit worse for wear. She, <laughs> she looks down at Lorton as he's... Just knocked out. Like he, he's not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> please, please treat them with respect. Help them if they need. As a return. We give you these. Uh, there, there are a few things, and and she motions, and another villager walks out of the out of her home, while two of them walk out carrying a chest. Um, these will be taken to your boat. But please enjoy, enjoy the rest of the night. For tomorrow, I fear the work will begin again. And with that... Being from the island, do I know about the tree as well? Uh, so you... You wouldn't have heard quite as much. Um... For, for you, it would have been more... Um, campfire stories whereas uh -huh. with, with Kai being an elf a Bala elf it's literally part of his heritage um, with a big smile uh <clears throat> the shadow that was around her slithers back into her home and she goes inside to leave you guys to celebrate for the rest of the night Was TNC the only one that saw the shadow serpent or did anybody else Actually, see it? Actually, you know what? You Gretna was not there for when Kai and Lorton and uh, Rufius were there. So go ahead and give a perception roll as well. Um, but you being a native would know that... Uh, 
Okay, so you I didn't, don't know shit. You didn't see it. I didn't it. see shit. You didn't see it, but as uh, as a native under her tribal rules ruling, um, you know that mm-hmm. she's a Bibelon. Um, and a Bibelon, for those who don't know, is one of the custom classes from this module that is a, a spiritual caster. Um, their arcane focus is given to them by the spirits in the form of a spirit, which is what you two have... Well, Tianzi has seen. Damien, not so much. (laughs) Uh, How do you guys... uh, What do you guys feel about the things you've heard? What are you thinking? Uh... Anybody want to talk about the snakey snake? I'm sorry, the what? The snakey snake around the lady? There was a snake around the lady? Uh, (laughs) Yes? I think you've had too much to drink. I don't drink. Hold on, let me sniff my water real quick. No, no, I don't drink. No, no. She was shadowy. It was like a... It was, it's fine. I don't know you anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And then as, 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 as that's all happening, I'm just going to talk to my... Well, it seems like I'm talking to myself and be like, I can't believe this grog. I can't believe this grog. What are the rest of you? I just want you um, to know that whatever that was, all of that, that just speech, it was the greatest thing I've ever heard. I, I, I couldn't get over just how enthralled I was into that and honestly I have no idea of anything else that happened around me um so first of all I'd like to say to the person that tapped me on the shoulder during the game I don't know your name that would be Kai Kai I would just like to say thank you for earlier, and I'm sorry, and I would like to introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Damian Bellows, and I am a musician, and I am an entertainer, and that's all I am, nothing more. Okay. (laughs) Nothing more, eh? Nothing more than a musician and an entertainer. More, above all else, an entertainer than a musician now that I no longer have bagpipes. I still have a few instruments, but man, those were my favorite. (laughs) Aren't you the one that bet them? Well, see, I had hope, faith, Mm -hmm. if you will, that I was going to win everything and be on my merry way. But see, that didn't happen. You, you were and, hoping you'd be light on your feet? I mean, your tosses? I mean, <laughs> oh goodness, the word just getting in front of me. <laughs> First of all, I'm always light on my feet. Secondly, I'm not always on my feet. Thirdly, no matter what I'm on, I am very light. I'm always high. Now, what are we up to for the rest of the evening? I don't know you guys. Are you guys up to any good? Or any bad? I'm looking for some fun. Or trouble. However you want to look at it. Well, and I motioned to Lorton and Kai. They are the travelers that the Babylon spoke of. I just joined the party and the group and 
helped them hunt the elk, but, you know, I don't really know Kai. I know Lorton because I helped him hunt. But, you know, I'm not part of this whole thing. I'm just a villager that went to help. So, so y'all are the heroes that she spoke of. They are. I am not. Didn't I mean, you... I did kill an elk or two. You but... helped the heroes. I did. So you are Hi, also I'm a Gretna. hero. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm just a lowly little villager. That, that that can shoot a bow. That's that's all. Do you smell that? Oh, it's pungent. Yes. Brown? Oh, my nose. You also smell like bullshit because I am too. That that's what it is. Yeah, that's what I am smelling. It's probably just Lord, to be honest. <laughs> I think that's just the ale. Is it the ale? Oh, hey, I'm not a brown noser. I'm just modest. Oh, no, sweetheart. We're not talking about you. Mm-hmm. We're talking about that one. <laughs> Ass kisser. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Teensy. Teensy McBobbins. Don't ever call me Teeny. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Go to us. a party. Let's do it. Yeah. Is there gold involved, by the way? Uh, Not that I'm interested. I mean, I can acquire it. I mean, I can earn it on my own, but if there's gold involved, that would really, really enhance my willingness to help you. So, in in this world, again, not a whole lot of metal around. Um, gold is a tradable item. It's generally not how uh, people will pay or repay. Um, so what, what's the form of currency? Oh, yeah, that is a good question. Generally, it's, 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 mainly. it's goods and things like rations. Yeah. Um, that's why that was the main, the first thing that Bilan asked for in your gambles. Um, you can use gold. Uh, it's just not going to be, you're not going to be stacked with like 500 million gold by the end of things, you know. Um, well, can I get some chickens or some coconuts? I'm down for coconuts. Yeah, sure. Uh, I I being can. as it is a party party, um, I'm sure they'd have some over where the pigs and the other meats are being cooked and where a lot of the food is. Oh, I meant as pay. Oh, but that works payment? too. Oh, okay. My, my misunderstanding. Uh, yeah, you can ask for pay and whatever, whatever you want. Um, it has been like two hours and some change. Uh, would we like to take a pause and get drinks, get up and stretch, use the restroom? Be lovely. Awesome. Yes! I have to tinkle. Okay. <laughs> Party break! I, a... I need I it I have too. a bio-emergency. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, Lorton's still passed out. <sighs> pretty drunk uh and it's probably gonna be that way for a while another uh at this point it's probably been about maybe an hour and a half with all of babylon kailahon's words for everyone so he's got another hour and a half that he's gonna be unconscious (laughs) <laughs> um. So, uh, what do you guys want to do with the rest of the night? There's, uh, the party is kind of. I guess we kind of just hit hit the crescendo. Uh, from here, it's gonna kind of die out. If y'all wanna talk to each other, you wanna 
let the night, rest of the night pass. That's cool. Um, I guess I want to kind of just get to know the crew a little bit more. I, I always like to know who I might be potentially working with. Okay. Um, I don't know who all might still be around me, but I definitely want to assess the situation and um, kind of get a feel for who everybody really, like, what their characters are like okay. and what their motivation is. So um, I'm going to ask whoever's around me. I'm like, hey, guys. So uh, I know you're from the island, but why are you here? And I'm gesturing to um, the ones that obviously don't go here. <laughs> They don't even go here. Uh, they don't even go here. It's true. I just have a lot of emotions. <laughs> uh, so, Kai, Damien, that's us to you guys. No pressure. Well, so I've just I, I've I've been here for a little bit now, and all I've been wanting to do is just get here, get some stuff that I need, and then get on my way. But it seems that the things that I need are not here. I've been here for roughly two weeks now, and I can't seem to find anything that I've been wanting. All I need. Are y'all listening? Can you hear me? Am I just talking to myself? What I need <laughs> is a <laughs> dagger. One single dagger. Sparkling. Brand new. Never been used dagger. And if I may with a handle. Uh, you Don't all daggers have handles? You would be surprised. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me get this clear. You came to an island to find a shiny dagger that's never been used with a handle. Why the island for a dagger? Like, but there's so... But I, can can you clarify... <laughs> No, really. So it all it all started when I was six. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So anyway, what else is uh, bringing everybody else here? You guys can try and wake Lorton up if you want. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. He's gonna get a nice good sleep. Okay. <laughs> he he can be in his drunken stupor. No, I'm not gonna kick him. I'm just gonna kind of like shake him, try and wake him up, just so that we can just go back to the boat. Okay. Uh... Do you need some water for that? I can help you pour some water on on him. But it's it's on you. I'm not. I didn't do it. You know what I mean? But I'll do it. Face of us. If you're not going to take the blame, it's no fun if I take the blame. What's your idea? Just trying to be helpful. Okay. Are gonna do it? Um, actually, can I just go ahead and dump a glass of water on Lorton and then run? Or sure. hide? <laughs> I was gonna say, you got bonus action hide all day, so... Yeah, you know, I'd like to use my stealth. <laughs> okay, um... Here's going to be an interesting turnaround. <laughs> Set a DC for me. Alright. Do I just roll a D20? You can decide however you want to do it. DC. I'm, I'm okay. going to be rolling a constitution saving throw. To try and wake up. Cool. Alright, I'll just roll a uh, D20. That's <laughs> G okay. I feel abandoned by these fake dice. It's all fake. It's fake news. 
<laughs> okay. With an eight to beat. It's gonna be so hard for you. 16. I set my expectations real high. So, uh, one of the things that you would have observed about Lorton, you know, he's about four foot six, uh, fairly wide, about two feet wide uh, at the shoulders. Very, very stocky. But the real interesting thing about him is that his beard seems to be constantly uh, in the stage of like an embering flame. And as your water splashes all over his face, you see and hear the as it starts to quench that flame and he Oh, what the Oh And he holds his head as he sits up. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. He just holds one hand up with the finger out saying, wait, wait. His head throbbing from the alcohol. Um, He is going to cast lesser restoration on himself to get rid of his hangover. Best use ever. It's not cheating, you brilliant it works okay <sighs> what I miss oh, where's the fire so some cool? crazy person just dumped a lot of water on you it was insanity are you breaking your hide to say that oh actually yeah hold on Give me a I didn't even roll. hide. Give me a give me <laughs> that stealth me. roll. <laughs> oh, okay, I was like, I know you never told me to. Okay, my bad. Uh, that was that's my bad. <laughs> For once, it works in my favor. Okay, seventeen. Uh, I'm gonna take perception at disadvantage because hangover and water in face and hangover. Um, oh, he fucking knew it was you. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, come on, man. The one time I rolled decent. Oh, he did. He did know it was you. Wow. It's the 18. Wow. Just... <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. As... It wasn't me. It was Grog. Grog made me do it. As, uh... You saw her throw the water? It wasn't me. It... Grog told me to do it. As as he finishes casting a lesser ra- lesser restoration on himself, he just pulls he slowly pulls his hands down over his eyes and just <sighs> You again? <sighs> what I miss. I think we're going to be the best of <laughs> friends. That's all. Oh, I love it. Bitch. Oh, he does not like you. <laughs> That's okay. He'll, to- he'll tolerate you. Like. He'll tolerate you. <laughs> does, is, does he he'll look love me at all? Oh, yeah. He, um, well, I guess at this point... Would it have been enough time to count as a long rest? I don't think it would have. Um, so his his face is still pretty fucked up from the the kitten scratching him up. Um, and I'm glad that you threw water instead of alcohol on him because that would have burned like a motherfucker. Um, it getting all into his wounds. <laughs> um, See, there's benefit to the halfling not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he, he he does look hurt, but he's also, uh, you can see the holy symbol of his volcano like hanging around his neck. You know, 
just on sight, you can tell he's a cleric, and he's clearly not done anything about it. Um... So do with that what you will. Uh, so I'm just going to look at him, and I'm going to say, uh, you know, I, uh, I think I might have saw what just happened there, and um, I think we could take her. And when, when I say I think we could take her, I cast Healing Word on him. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and... Enter? Go ahead and roll a d20. Okay, uh, for, uh, plus your spell attack modifier. Uh, first of all, he, heal, uh, he heals for six points. <laughs> okay, we're seeing if you crit heal, even though that's going to bring me to full. <laughs> okay. roll, roll a d20? Yep, flat d20. Okay. Nine. Awesome. Didn't crit heal. Cool. I bet we could. <laughs> We're talking about breakfast. dinner, right? Just, just clarifying. Or breakfast? Mm, Tea time? No, no. Brunch? Mm, no. Um, maybe. <laughs> um. He he does he genuinely does not know what he missed happening. The Babylon came out and talked to us and that was about it. He recognized she recognized us as the heroes, even though y'all are just the heroes. She recognized all of us and Talked about how y'all killed the shark, and then we killed the elk and the the beast, and wait, just my name, right? Okay. Sorry. Nobody said your name. You were passed out. Did anyone see me? Oh, we all saw you. Uh, Lava Hona. And he quickly begins <laughs> saying a prayer of repentance to Lava Hona, <laughs> making, making the uh, the god he represents look a bit less cool because he is passed out uh, as a representative of her. Um, well, okay, it, uh, seems like everything's wrapping up here. Did she say anything interesting, though? I mean, she had a serpent around her, but nobody else saw it. <sighs> Did it feel kind of ominous? Pine size. Everything's kind of ominous these days. But maybe, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It's kind of shadowy. Really creepy. She's with a little lady. Rufus Wait. and I noticed it earlier when when we talked to her in her home. So I'm not crazy! I told you, Grog! <sighs> I'm so glad someone else saw it. I thought I was losing my mind. I I mentioned that he also saw it. <laughs> that is true! You did, didn't you? Okay, I'm with a group of sane people or also insane people, but this works to my advantage. I'll join your party for sure now. Well, 
<sighs> looking up at the sky. Uh, it's pretty close. Like it, it looks like it's coming up to about midnight. We uh. Oh. Oh. We uh should probably get back to the boat. Uh, who would like to do a weather check for me? Ooh, I'll do a weather check. We can both do it. All right. Yeah. Uh, what we will do is both of you roll a d20. Um, high total will determine the weather if it's storm starting to storm or not. Nineteen. So thirty-one total of forty. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, starting a storm. Oh, by the gods. Now, it's, now I'm wet again. Oh, oh party's over. Yep. <laughs> 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 and everyone runs into the houses. <laughs> All of the people that were lagging behind. Uh, you can come stay at our boat with us if you'd like. Unless... So we don't want that. There is not really an escape from the weather. Well, we what got, is the boat? We got tarps and other things. We can make it to Leave the way. Alright. Is there anything... Yeah, sure. I've been part of your party so far. Is there anything that y'all want to do before we make the 20 minute trek to the boat? Let's see if there's any shark left. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and give me either perception, investigation, or survival. Your choice. I want to go grab up some elk. Uh, the elk, there probably have only been two of the legs finished in time by the later end of the party. Um, Kai, you see not, not a whole lot left. Uh, but there's enough there that you could probably scrape together amongst the other foods probably like three days worth of rations and Gretna go ahead and give me either that investigation or perception or survival Woo, 21 let's go uh, you find about As you go to check, uh, just before the storm started, uh, you managed to find an entire leg of one of the elk. Uh, had just been brought out. Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and add 12 days worth of rations. Is there any fruit or vegetables? Sure. Three days worth of rations, did you say? Again for Kai? Three. Three days worth. Okay. Okay. And yes, there are fruit. Go ahead and we'll just count that as part of the 12 rations that you found. Um, okay, so we make our way to the boat. Ooh, zoomed in. 
Teensy that wanted the fruit. Oh, it was Teensy that wanted the fruit? Yeah. My apologies. And nope, it's all good. Go ahead and give me that roll. Uh, you said it was either perception. Investigation or survival. Okay. Well, we're going to go with perception. Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll say... A lot of the area where there was, like, fruits and vegetables and grains has been pretty cleared through, uh, but you still find about five rations worth. Okay. So, let me also get from everyone an acrobatics or athletics check. Six, eleven. eleven. Okay. I've got acrobatics with a plus one, or athletics with a minus one. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. The DC was ten. Uh, so... Oh, just made it. Who oh, just made it? Yep. Okay. So, TNC. Uh, the yeah. rain starts coming down pretty thick. Um, one thing I failed to describe to you, in this city, most of the means of travel is via boardwalks that are up in the trees. Um, because you guys haven't seen this before. Uh, this is what Tillamanduke looks like. Oh, that is so pretty. And this is the area, this is the city that we're in, Pamayanan. Nice. Um, so most most of the travel is through the treetops. Um, through your haste uh, to get and to, to keep up with us, um, you slip and fall. Um, let me get a d20 roll and I'm gonna let you call high or low um, you get to choose between either dropping one or two of the rations or taking a point or two of damage uh, you get to choose what's high and what's low high rations low health Do I roll? Yeah, this is your roll. Oh, so, my bad. Uh, Just a basic bad. d20, right? Yep, basic d20. Okay. Hey. 20 was the rations with the dirty 20. No, that's an ad 20. Please, <clears throat> Louise. You know, why can't I roll like that? All right, how many rations do I lose? Since it's a nat 20. Um, All of them. <laughs> That's rude. I'm not that mean. I'm not that mean. As you're running through, uh, trying to keep up, the rain slickens the boardwalk underneath your feet. And you feel your pack bouncing across your back. And as the party takes a turn to cross over to another tree uh, you kind of do the um, you kind of slide 
end of the turn, and as you do slide, you feel your backpacking keep going straight. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check. Okay. What? No. I'm only with the twos! No! Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, as your backpack begins to leave Oops. your body, you kind of whip around just in time to catch it, uh, but not before two of the rations fall to the jungle floor. Um, you have options here. You can try and find some stairways to go down to retrieve it, but the group doesn't know that you wouldn't be with them. Or you can keep going with the group. It's fine. I can acquire more. I'll just keep going with the crew. Okay. Uh, beyond that, you catch up, no problem. Man, I was, I was trying to give you an out for, <laughs> for not losing anything. Um, Stupid dice! <laughs> I rolled a net two, like, both times. Oh. Okay. Uh, the rest of the trip to the boat goes without event. And as you walk um, across the wet sand in the marina, um, following Kai and following Lorton, um, it's, it's kind of easy to pick out which boat is theirs because it's built so structurally different than everything else. And you make it here. Uh, forgive the water on the map. You're on SC. Uh, boop, boop, and boop. Uh, Rufius jumps up, no problem. Lorton jumps up, no problem. And they immediately go over to the chests and start breaking out tarps and animal skins um, and begin draping them between these two middle... Uh, there's kind of like a housing built around the rigging, so these are actually two small rooms. And now everyone has a nice and dry spot to spend the night. Well, that, uh, that ought to hold. So I know this isn't my boat, but I want to go over and open the chest that they, that Babylon gave y'all. Okay. Um, so that chest will be, will have been dropped off roughly near where the central crossbow is. <clears throat> um, Lorton's going to go over and check with you because he doesn't know what it is. Kai, what are you going to do as you see Gretna go over to that chest? Hello. And see what the hell is in it. Alright. Cool. So. I love how nobody's just questioning me going through their shit. Alright. <laughs> um, truthfully, the only one that probably would would be Rufius. But since he's not here. Um, I'm actually going to pull him off the map. Okay, so I need rolls. Um, I should have been more prepared for this. Because why wouldn't he get into your ship? Okay. 
So, um, I need rolls from Kai and Lorton, um, and then in a moment. It will be Gretna. What kind of role? Okay. <clears throat> Our first role will be a D100. Sixty-four. Cool. Um, what is your primary weapon? My primary weapon. Wash him because I forgot to take off the dagger after fighting the shark. Staff. Staff? Okay. Uh, Reroll for me. One. Uh, okay, reroll for me. When you say a staff, do you mean like a magic staff or a quarter staff? Uh, the first thing that you pull out, Kai, is a wind fan. Uh, while holding this fan, you can use an action to cast a gust of wind with a spell save DC of 13 from it. Uh, you can't use it again until the next dawn, and each time it is used again before the next dawn... It has a cumulative 20% chance of not working and tearing into useless uh, tatters. Ooh. That's pretty. Okay. Um, I am going to roll for Lorton. 34. Nice. He gets a cloak of elven kind. Strider will get his roll when he's able to do it. And then let me get a roll, uh, D100 from Gretna as well. Forty-eight. Uh, as you reach in, you do feel a bunch of flasks. Um, but you feel something else that's kind of kind of soft and you grab a hold of it and you pull up uh, some boots of spider or slippers of spider climbing okay Next, let me get um, 
I'm just happy it wasn't a mimic. <laughs> oh. oh, trust. Mimics will have their time. Femji knows I like mimics. Last time. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, the way you use mimics are fucking amazing. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me get another D100s uh, roll, Kai. Forty-eight. Okay. Uh, roll me a D8. Eight, nice. Uh, there's eight potions of healing in there. Nice. And Gretna, would you roll me another D100? That's normal potions of healing. Uh, yes, sixty-six. Oh, that's kind of a, that's that one's dumb. Uh, go ahead and roll again. Ninety-two. Okay. Uh, roll me a D four. <laughs> okay. Uh, before you put on the slippers of spider climbing, uh, a little piece of paper oh, rolls out of the shoe itself. And Ooh. as you open it up, you find a single spell scroll with a second level spell on it. So, after session, we can talk about what spell we're going to have on that. Um, and I will make my roll. Eleven. Okay. Um, I had you roll it. Uh, go ahead and <clears throat> add four more healing potions to your inventory, Kai. Sorry, I'm kind of now designating you as the uh, loot dump. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to Kai goes down. He fucking needs them. Well, hey, the main reason I even rolled that one was because there is a chance at a bag of holding. <laughs> Um, okay, and then the rest of the things we will have last rider roll uh, for his character. Um, and Hopefully. that is payment for the shark and the elk. Um, there is one more thing. Um, Gretna, you notice mm -hmm. a cylinder, uh, uh, a tube that spans the, um, the entire width of the chest. And go ahead and pull that out. Okay. Um, there is etched on the tube that uh, this was made from the sinews of the beast we killed. And uh, as you open the tube and pull out a short bow plus one, um, oh, 
I want to do something to it, but it's going to be broken as fuck if I do it. Break it. <sighs> okay. I'm going to break it, but if it's too much, we might need to walk it back. Are you okay with that? You're the DM. So, being made of the sinews of, might even say it, we want to be more specific, um, from the hamstrings of that displacer beast, once per day, and you need to put this down in your notes, because I know I'm not going to remember it. Um, once per day, you can choose whenever you take the shot, um, but you can also create an illusionary arrow that flies alongside your shot. As part of the Displacer Beast properties. So you, you can kind of... The idea is that... You get one shot a day that you don't necessarily break your hide from. Okay. Um, and the arrow is just strictly illusionary, or I can also hit with it? So you're, in essence, what you're doing, you pull back, you launch a real arrow, but then another arrow from, like, another trajectory... That's an illusion sinks in, so they can't tell where you shot from. Okay. So if you play it right, you get your sneak attack on that roll, and then you get another sneak attack without having the bonus action hide. Got it. Which means it'll be harder for other enemies to spot you if there's multiple in the encounter. Once a day. I feel like I'm going to regret that one. <laughs> I would abuse the hell out of it. Um, okay. So that's the loot from like the last two main things that we've done. Um, FEMG. Are you okay to keep going? Yep. Okay. I just, I know... Time constraints. It's late as hell. Not weekend, so okay. I ain't asked. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anything anyone would like to talk about after we've gotten the everything all set up? Guys, look at this bow. It's awesome. It's mine. I'm keeping it. Dope. Dope. Uh, Lorton's good. He's he's pretty tired. He's had a really rough day. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, uh, if there's nothing anyone else wants to do to settle out the time. Um, we can fall asleep to the rain, and everyone gets a long rest. Dope. Get your spells back. Okay. Uh, constitution saving throws from everyone. I knew there would be a con. Always. I don't like that. Uh... Cool. Con saving throw. <clears throat> the one fucking thing I have a plus five on. Nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> all of us for the con? All of us. Okay. Well, it looks like everyone's dying except for Kai. I'm dead. Hey, okay. I think I did okay this time. I am. Once? 
to one am, time, it might matter. <laughs> I am very Everyone much else is dead. Okay. Uh, TNC. You go night night. Yes. Can you give me a weather check? Yes, I can. Is that just a nat 20? Uh, like a, a re- not a nat 20. I mean, a regular. Sorry. Yeah. I, I used the wrong word. Yeah, regular D20. D20. Yep. A, a dimension 20? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. roll. Okay. Wow. It's sunny but rainy but snowy but rainbowy but dark but cold but hot. <laughs> yes. Uh not quite, actually, quite the opposite. Um the, it's everything and nothing. <laughs> the rain and thunder wake you up first uh, okay. as the storm has gotten increasingly bad over the night um, as you look out over the marina you can just see these dark dark gray shadows uh, in the sky as these thunderheads crack with lightning um, being the first one awake how are you starting this morning? Oh boy. Uh, I think I'm going to nudge Lorton awake and be like, hey, hey, <laughs> uh, it's a little gloomy. And by a little gloomy, I mean, it's, it, it's gloomy. All he does is wave a hand at you and turn over. He is deep asleep. But I'm gonna get my flask of water. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Here we go, go again. For it. Rinse and repeat. <sighs> Literally. <how> <laughs> I'm gonna take my flask of water and I'm gonna pour it right on. I think it's Damien. Damien, that's Jake. That's your character. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say, mm, you know what, Psh, and just dump it on Damien. <laughs> okay, uh, Damien, give me another Constitution saving throw. She just gave you advantage at that. Everybody, you burst the water. <laughs> you definitely wake up. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, sunshine. What? What? The, says- what? How? Oh, how? Dagger? What? Good. Good morning. Um, how? if you would take a gander at the skies, dear person, being that's really tall compared to me, can you just look at the sky and help me wake everybody else up? Because I'm just not up to the task, and I'm really hungry. Sure. I'm actually four foot tall. Hey, you're still everybody. T- oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, no, you're still taller uh, than me. <laughs> My God, how is that possible? How long are you? It's like real life. Shut up. Y'all are all are you? In real life or in character life? I like the both. Character, uh, <laughs> character uh, she's 311. 311. Uh, yeah. You make Lord feel tall. <laughs> And then in real life, I'm 5'3", so I'm not super tall. It's fine. It's You're taller. annoying. Taller than my mom. Four inches shorter than me. Yeah. Yeah, better than my mom, who is four seven and a half. Anyway, uh, back to character. Uh, <laughs> so short. But yeah, uh... Cool. Well, let yeah. Let's wake everybody up. Uh, storms, storms worse. It's 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 a brewing in a not good way. Not not a good way. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take out my dulcimer and I'm gonna hit it with the loudest strum I possibly can and yell, "Everybody, wake the fuck up!" Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> That's effective. Yeah. Uh, I poured water on the right right person. (laughs) Everyone's now awake at the same time to some complete racket. Um, What the fuck is that? It was my dulcimer with distortion. 
figure in... the gentsimer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. In a bit of a panic, because he... I don't think Lorton's ever heard that instrument before. Uh, he's going to reach over and quickly grab his shield and his mace. And oh, no. try to get battle ready. But he's... He's still so very tired. Because uh, while the magic helped his ripped open guts from the Displacer Beast, they all haven't quite wiggled right to the right places yet. And he, he kind of doubles over. Oh, okay. What? What was that? And he'll poke his head out of the cabin door. Start looking to check and make sure the boat's okay. Oh, by the gods, this is so much rain. <sighs> yeah, there's something up with the sky. Just yeah, so you know. know. What's everyone else doing now that they're blasted awake? I'm just giving a death stare to Damien. I'm I'm not a morning person. Ah, so Lorton's gonna spend the first part of his morning. <clears throat> going around uh, around the deck and anchoring everything down that he can so that way it doesn't get blown away in the really strong winds. Um, I'd like to give him a hunt. Alright. Do the same. Same. Team I do team? not. Well, it's fine. You just play with your Dossimer, okay? I have actually switched to the regular flute at this point in time. Thank you. Lazy. Um, as this wraps up, um, he's going to come back into the cabin and kind of try and shake all the rain off. Being kind of pissed off, he... Uh... Let's see, do we have anything? It's goddamn rain. Um, he's going to take out from one of the cabinets kind of a weird looking stone box kind of construction uh, that has a hole in the top and a hole in the sides and he's going to set uh, a couple large candles alight and Put them. Uh, put this box around them. Uh, he'll go and reach for his water flask, and realizing it's gone, I had it last night. What the fuck happened to my? He can't find his regular clothes in his bag either. Uh, You're really nice. bad with rocks. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. What? What? You, you lost. You lost a game. Explain to him what happened. Oh. You lost a game, and you got drunk, and you lost your clothes, and your flask, and you're a big fat loser. <laughs> oh, La forgive me again. Uh, um, does anyone have fresh water? Well, I did, but I kind of poured it on somebody. Sorry. Here. Take mine. He's gonna take your water and pour it into a pot as he's made a little makeshift stove uh, to start trying to make some coffee. Question. 
Is yeah. the is the rainwater safe to drink in this area? It can be. Uh, <laughs> I I'm like boil it first. Didn't think about it, but I happen to have purify water, <laughs> purify food and drink. So. And it's a weird question, but like if we're in an island setting, then the water and the rain might not be good if there's volcanic activity and okay i think way too much into this stuff but no, okay i just good. need to know because i'd like to fill oh, my flask thingy back, back up but it doesn't i want to help that you lived it. on hawaii no it doesn't yeah <laughs> no you're you're good that's um it's a very interesting up. thing to think about because his particular god the lahona uh she is the goddess of volcanoes, which not entirely meant as destruction alone. Um, right. Because that's a growth. Yep, that's her whole shtick. Yep. Um, that being said, um, do you mention any of this in character? No. Actually, oh yeah. I, I don't know that we <laughs> necessarily need to, um, because we spent about two months on the boat before we got here. Um, so what he'll he'll go and do is he'll actually take one of the barrels. He'll go over to a water barrel and see that it's empty. Uh, dip it in the ocean real quick, bring it up, and spend a few minutes in ritual cast purify a drink um, food and drink over the barrel so we have a supply of fresh water okay that works cool. too cool look he's smart I like that even though it takes one of my spell slots see if we had just been able to drink the rain water yeah um okay uh, what are you guys, anything you guys want to do while the coffee's cooking, meat's warming up? I'm going to go refill my flask since you emptied it. Awesome. And that rainwater you just purified. Hell yeah. I'm just going to uh, try and warm up some of the shark from last night. Hell yeah. Breakfast of shark and eggs. Let's go. Um... As the storm seems to settle down, there is a bit of commotion at the stairway um, from the village. And all of us recognize Bailan almost immediately. Uh, as he's running towards our boat, Um, that's not good. What the fuck's happening? Uh, as he gets closer, you can plainly see the panic in his face. Um, as he's waving his arm, screaming, Heroes! Heroes, please, heroes, help! I need help! I need help! As he gets to the front of the boat, It's, it's Dylan, my son. Please. I need help. I goes up to him and just kind of gets off the boat onto his level. What happened? How can we help? Yesterday morning, Ter, Ter was supposed to be watching him and he did see him. He went into the woods and I guess he didn't think anything of it and we haven't seen him since. Please. Uh oh. Please. He's my only son. Well, of course we'll help. You know where about he had. Sorry, what was that? You know where about he was heading? Oh. Well, he, 
they were they were at the house, but I've told him over and over and over again to never go into the woods because because of the other families, because of his friend. Do you mean the other missing? Ones that are, are gone? Yes. I just it's... look at Lorton and go, Displace your beast. We need to help. He nods in agreement, grabs his scale mail, and begins putting it on. Um... grabs his shield and his mace where, from where he'd set them to prepare breakfast. Alright, I'm ready. And he'll turn and look at Tiancy and Damien. Are you, are you two in? Between everybody and I have no words, but I take both of my daggers and I do a fancy twirl, stick them in my sheaths, and nod. Absolutely, I'll help. Okay. Thank you, heroes. Please, please come. And he leads us back to his home. Uh, to begin the search through the woods for his lost son. Um, let's see. That takes about roughly an hour. Uh, and we begin traveling deeper into the woods. Uh, the rain is not quite as strong as it was before. Um, but there's also like not a whole lot to see. The one thing that really stands out to you uh, this early in the morning is just how how quiet most of this is. Lorton, do you hear that? I... I think... Too quiet. It's strange. Very I don't strange. like it. Uh, as we walk further and further, um, the foliage begins to change. Uh, you first notice that everything goes from a general broadleaf into very thin strands. As the slope increases, you notice the size of the trees decrease, little by little. The space grows a bit wider as, as you travel deeper into the wilderness.
By this point, it's been about 45 minutes from Bailan's house. Does anyone see anything? Not a thing. I don't like this, Lurton. Perception check? Survival checks from everyone. Survival. Okay. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, yeah, there we We're go. We're all gonna oh. die. Thank We're all gonna. Goodness for Damien. We're all gonna die. The silence is deafening. Perhaps it's just the rain. Uh, Damien, as yeah. we have been walking, you've noticed that these trees have gotten slimmer and slimmer. Um, and as we turn through a few bends and maybe across a river or two, they begin to thicken up again. But there's something else that doesn't sit quite right with you. There's the occasional tree that seems to be filling with rot. What What's filling with rot? Uh, trees. The trees are filling with rot. Not all together, but every once in a while you see one. And there's no real rhyme or reason to it. Uh, I, uh, I just generally point this out to the rest of the group. Hey, um, the, these trees are rotting ever so slightly. Not all of them, but it, it's a, it's a, if you see one, that's cool, but there's been like 20. Yeah, something's going on here. Okay, I forget what everyone in the party is. Do we have any, I'm a tiefling. Do we have anyone Rainbow. as a native retina? Mm -hmm. Um, can you roll me a nature check? Mm hmm No. <laughs> Five. Wow. Five. Oh, okay. Um, there we go. Before yeah, you sure are from here. Before we hit the point of the nature check, the last thing I was gonna note for you, Damien, yes. was the rain has washed away most things, but in a particular point where you find two of these trees, um, you see a set of footprints that seem to be walking away from them. Uh, and he's I the only one that sees these footprints? Yes. I also point footprints out to the group. Hey, guys! <laughs> Also, side note, there was someone else here. And, side side note, they're walking away from, guess what, these two rotting trees. That's strange. 
Maybe it's his son. Uh, these feet print. So, we would have been talking and calling out to Dylan along the way. Um, for TNC and Damien, you would have found out that Dylan's an eight-year-old. Eight or nine. Okay. Um, he's about... Just under four feet tall. Um, skinny kid, maybe maybe 60 70 pounds um and he's fairly fairly high energy he likes to be out doing things um that's general knowledge you would have you would have had these feet print uh the two most interesting points is they're a lot Larger than what would be expected for an eight-year-old, and they're barefoot. Not like I redact my statement. Not like a bear's foot, but barefoot. Yeah. No shoes. Are they abnormally they large? They naked toesies. No, not abnormally large. Uh, you would guess uh, some medium-sized humanoid. And they go on for about 20, 30 feet before being disappeared in the mud. Be a kidnapper. Oh, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. Can I just look around and see if there's anything that we might be missing in this general area? Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Um, what kind of bard are you? Uh, College of Lore. Do you get bardic inspiration? I do. I do have inspiration, yes. So you may throw one of those on if you'd like. (laughs) (laughs) I'm uh, I'm not able to uh, inspire myself yet. What? Oh, shit. No! Uh, Uh, I'm not able to inspire myself yet until... What, like level ten? Oof. I, I've mm. I've tried playing a bard once like and that. it did not go well. Uh, that was totally DM speak for you need it. Yeah, no, yep. you, you failed the check. No, I, I've, no, I've, <laughs> of course, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that, and that's knowledge for me. I I've played a bard once and it was not a great experience. Um, oh, I, 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 I I'm loving this character right now but yeah I can't I I can't inspire myself yet I can't be the narcissist that I want to be how about this I should have asked before how exactly are you checking um I am just uh going up to where the footprints are where those trees are Look, looking looking at those trees a little bit more fully and carefully and uh, seeing um, uh, the direction and maybe if there was anything in that general direction that maybe could lead us to something. Okay, so mainly with your eyes, you're not moving anything. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not I'm not actively okay. like searching. I'm just g- general general just looking around. Uh, a lot of the area has been really fouled up by the rain. Mm. Um, one thing you will have noticed as you cover the area, and this will go for all of us, because I would assume all of us would kind of spread out and see what's around the area. Um, on the rare occasion... there are points in different directions where these feet seem to have had a high impact uh, with 
the soft earth. Almost like they're jumping? Yes. Use my stealth and try to go ahead of the party a little bit to kind of scout around. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Roll that stealth. All right. Uh, you feel hidden. Um, I just want to kind of stay in the tree lines as best as I can. Um, use bushes, whatever I can to hide, but I want to try to go ahead a little bit to see if I can't find something more um, away from the area that we were we were just in, if that makes sense, but I want to stay hidden while I'm investigating. Okay, go ahead and roll investigation as well. Okay. Well, screw you, Dice. That's fine. Uh... So, you are <laughs> okay. So as you're walking and trying to stay within the tree line, uh, you are actually f fairly good at it. Um, as you walk along the roots of the trees. But on the occasion, you kind of misjudge where you're placing your feet, and they kind of sink into the mud, and with a <laughs> they pop back out as you go to take your next step. Um, okay. To the point where it almost starts getting distracting for you. Um, you find... more and more of these trees that look like they're rotting. Okay. I will go ahead and um, I will head back and let everybody know what I see. Uh, hey guys, uh, just let you guys know ahead, there's more rot. It's very weird. I don't like it. I need grog. <laughs> oh. As you all keep moving ahead, uh, and following the initial path of those feet, finding more and more trees that are rotting. The trees start spreading out. And perception checks for everyone. Um, you had too much faith. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, with the Nat 20, uh, you and Gretna begin to look not just at the trees that are rotting but the other trees as well and you notice that they seem to be like they were once the same and as you continue further they are no longer the same As you're thinking about this and, and noticing the difference, you feel 
almost a vibration in the air. And off in the distance, you hear almost music. A woman's voice as she sings. You can't quite make out any of the words. And as you proceed towards the sound, you see her walking away from you. Is she barefoot? She is. She is also pale green. And her, uh, She seems to be wrapped in leaves. Her hair almost looking like a branch of fresh, um, fresh foliage. I call out quietly. Hey. Hey. Are you calling out to us or to her? Because I don't think that's a smart idea. I'm calling out to her. Uh, I would like to reiterate the fact that I want to hide. Oh, you're still, (laughs) you still feel hidden. Good. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Um, I am going to hide behind a tree because I do not think calling out to this lady who is singing in the woods is a good idea. Roll stealth. Uh, You feel hidden. Yay. As she turns to face the rest of us, you notice that she's actually not wearing these leaves. They seem to be growing from her. As she turns, you see branches growing out of her shoulder blades, growing from her forehead, curling back across that hair. As she turns, you see two slashes across her chest, dripping with a black ichor. Her sharp teeth glinting as she smiles. And nothing but a dead look in her eyes. With your perception checks. Uh Oh. You notice the body of a small boy. Yes. No! Yes! As she turns, she seems to almost throw something into the boy's chest and up sprouts a, blight, a blighted tree. And with that, I need everyone to roll initiative. Fuck no! Yeah. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh. Alright. Holy bitch! 
Can I roll Damn. with that on attack? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. Okay. All Did right. you roll a natural 20 on that? No. I don't like that. I rolled an 18. Where I'm going that was last. An 18? I'm going last. Yeah, my initiative is like plus eight, and I don't know why, but I'm not gonna argue it. Holy shit! Sorry, plus, you have plus eight. Wait, you're a rogue. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's two rogues in the party. You, do you have a plus five dexterity? I have plus six. How do you have a plus six dexterity? I don't know. That's so not because the rogues are awesome. That's so why. So I have a nineteen for the roll itself. Um, when I put into dexterity, when I rolled the dice, um, I have like a ten too. So it's not like I have like high, but it's a plus four. And then I down at the bottom, it also has like for my saving throws, it's like a plus six, but it's like a plus four. I also the, forgot that. to tell you guys, I roll characters different, but that's okay. We're already here. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I, I have a plus six for die. dexterity, too. I I like to play optimized, uh, so I expect everyone gets to, wants to have their characters actually do what they want them to do. Um, so you're saying my shit ability scores are not my fault? <laughs> So generally what I do is the standard 4d6, drop the lowest dice, and then I let you do another 4d6 and drop the lowest score total. Oh yeah, I just did the roll on the screen real quick. Damn. Damn, yeah. man. That is my bad. <laughs> okay, you didn't do it with me up. either. I might, be, uh, I might not have been rolling a zero here. That's okay. Okay. Hold okay. So for the sake of my notes, when you said you threw some, or she threw something into his chest and a tree appeared. Yes. Did the tree grow out of him, or did yep. he sprout? Okay. So he didn't turn into a tree. A tree grew out of him. Yes, a blighted tree. Okay. A blighted vine. Ew. Yay! Initiative. I like combat. Yes. Uh, okay. Combat. Let me write. I mean, what? All, all of my spells are for roleplay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, combat. Um, you do that to yourself. Uh, Damien, what is your dex? Uh, plus uh, tw uh, 12. Plus 1. Okay. 12, 12. 12. It's a 12. <laughs> And then, as a note to you all, I play max health, so if you have not, or if you tried to roll or anything, uh, go ahead on your character sheet and override to your maximum possible health. How do Done. I do that? Uh, uh, go to go to the builder, and then go to your uh, where it says class on the builder, and it says manage HP to the uh, next. Um, down below, it'll say your total possible hit points uh uh that'll be the the most you possibly could get and uh just change it to that number oh i need to change mine are you talking about hit points? Says... say again are you talking about hit points yes yeah. okay uh, hit points at first level and then hit point 1d8 per rogue level Over to the right of that, it'll say potential values, and it'll say total possible HP. Yeah, I don't have that. Did you go to your builder? Yeah. So then, where your builder is, next to your max hit points, it'll say manage HP. It's a little blue box. And then, yeah. There it is. And I just take the total possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, total possible. Oh, mine went up. Yeah, mine did too. Same. I was at I was at twenty four. <laughs> now I'm at thirty. Same. You're welcome. You're the I'm best. Not, Thanks. I'm staying at twenty six. Um, if anyone dies, it's gonna be me. <laughs> 
Got all on it now. Okay. There we go. I like that a little bit better. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then... Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me get this up as well. All right. Uh, and with that vine sprouting up. I should have covered most of this map so you can't see it. <laughs> but I don't really care. Uh, so. She then touches her chest and you see those um, everywhere around those two dark slashes that are dripping with the ichor just brown over as she casts spark skin on herself. Okay. And she will step forward. Uh, 10 feet and cast poison spray at Damien. Uh, so I need a con saving throw. Okay. Um, one second. Okay. Con save. Mm -hmm. 14. 14. Awesome. Uh, so as she whips her arm around at you, this putrid green smoke flies out of it, and you hold your breath just in time. Um... And you take no damage. Yes. Uh, she's going to hold her turn right there. Next in line, Tiancy, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm assuming I'm still hidden. Uh, great question. So the answer is... Uh, <laughs> this has no more like... fire and I will tell you. Um, you believe you're hidden. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm readying my short bow. Okay. Because uh, I want to fire at her head. Secretly. <laughs> Okay, so are you using that to hold your action? So for me, weapons are always considered ready. Okay. Um, you um, can hold your action if you want. You just have to give me a trigger. 
Okay. No, um, actually, uh, I don't know if I, let me do the arrow th or the, cause I think I have an 80 foot. I'm trying to figure out if I would have a line of sight. I think I do, uh, for my arrow 30, about 36 feet. Um, I'd like to try to do a sneak attack with my, my bow, my short bow. Okay. And then, still learning the D and D Beyond thing. Um, to do an attack roll, how do I do that? Okay, so you'll see in your big box, uh, hit slash DC, and there will be a number yeah. plus something. Yeah. Uh, you click that. that plus something. Uh, okay. So as you do this, you hear a moan through the trees. Oh yay! So go ahead. Okay. Um, and then. If I'm wanting to do the sneak attack with that, do I do that separately? Uh, you need to roll to hit first, and then you'll okay. see if you do sneak attack. Okay, and then I, so I do the short bow first, and then I'll do sneak Okay. Yeah, because you got to hit before you can do damage. Hey, that's a big no. As, <laughs> as your arrow goes flying towards her, uh, with that same hand that she used a poison uh, spray at Damien. She whips it up and slaps the arrow mid-flight, sending it careening into the trees. Come from. <laughs> Jeez. And she hisses at you. Yeah, yeah, I'd hiss at me too. You're not hitting no more. Uh, I want to sleep back into the shadows. <laughs> you can try. Do I write or I roll stealth again? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Hey. You feel hidden? I can do some things right. <laughs> you can hide. You can not fight. You can run and hide. I'll survive to tell the story of the team. <laughs> okay. Uh, next turn goes to Damien. All right. But so I am going to back up probably behind Lorton. Okay. Uh, just so you guys know, since you are on PC, you can click on your little icons and move them yourselves. Okay. Uh, do, do. I'm, that's not that each, one. Each square is 50, uh, five feet. Uh, on the left side of your screen, you see a vertical box. The bottom there one is token browser. Okay. okay, I'm gonna probably like back up behind Lorton. Uh, that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. That is a Wisdom 14 saving throw. And what does that do? Uh, dissonant whispers. Uh, you whisper a discordant melody that uh, only one creature of your choice within range can hear, whacking it with ter uh, racking it with terrible pain. The target must make a Wisdom DC saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 3d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction, uh, if able to move as far away as its speeds allow uh, as its speed allows away from you. The creature doesn't move uh, into obviously dangerous ground, such as fire or a pit. On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage and doesn't have to move away. Uh, a deafened creature automatically succeeds on the save. Okay. Uh, so you're saying wisdom saving throw? Yes. DC 14. Okay. So you'll see a custom roll. I'm not doing them with the... Uh, pluses. Okay. She succeeds. Wow. All right. Um, then she takes four damage. Four damage. Okay. And that is heard. And then I'm going to yell at uh, Gretna and be like, hey, uh, 
get her and give her inspiration. <laughs> okay. You now have, what is it, 1d4? 6. 1d6. Inspiration uh, die. You can use that on an ability check, an attack roll, or a saving throw. Uh, you can do it after seeing the roll, but not knowing, but before knowing the outcome. Dope. Okay. We're going to add this. Okay. Next is Lorton. Uh, what do we do? Ooh, okay. Um, upon seeing her sharp teeth and the blood dripping from them, and hearing the hiss from her hissing at TNC. Uh, Lorton's kind of panicking. Um, and he reaches towards his chest and grabs his volcanic symbol and says a quick prayer. And let's see, you are... Oh, okay. Uh, before I can fully... I'm, well, I've already said I'm going to do it. But to know if I can... Give it to you too. That was for Tiancy. And that was for Gretna. So, he can't see either of you two. Oh. So, he or he doesn't know where you two went. He knows you went in the trees, but not quite sure where. Uh, so, he will cast Bless at first level. Uh, and grant it to himself, Kai, and Damien. Uh, so we can add a d4 to any attack roll or saving throw while he nice. is doing this. Um, awesome. And with that, since he's panicking, he's going to kind of back up himself as he's holding that symbol. Um, okay. And that will be his turn. Uh, let's see. It is her turn. Uh, I gotta check one thing real quick. He gets two turns before the realm's over? Uh, the first, creating the dead vine, was out of combat. And then she kicked off the initiative with bark skin as she saw, after she saw you guys. Because I haven't gotten them. Yeah. Yet. No, I know. I know. This is now starting the full cycle where she falls into a uh, combat cycle. Um, okay. Dang, my roll really um, sucked if I. <laughs> so. This corrupt and blighted dryad will hold up does that count as an action uh 
Um, no, actually. She will uh, hold up her club and cast Shillelagh on it. And you see the simple stick grow into a really thick branch. I don't know. Um, and she's going to step forward. And take a swing at Kai. Ah. Does a 15 hit? Yep. Okay. Um, and then this is now a D8. Uh, as this person or plant thing is attacking Kai, I'm going to yell out, Watch out for her pedosynthesis! And use cutting words on the damage. Okay. Uh... So what do you, what does cutting words do? Uh, cutting words is a reaction. Um, I can take and uh, uh, as long as they're not immune to being charmed um, against a attack roll ability check or damage roll, I can spend one use of my bardic inspiration and uh, subtract the dice roll from the damage. Do I get a save against that, or is it automatic? Um, that is automatic. Okay, cool. Uh, so, sorry. I was reading something. It subtracts from the damage? Yes. Okay, go ahead and do your roll. Five? Cool. Uh, <laughs> the branches that have grown out of this club uh, basically whack Sky in the face... Uh, not Sky. Kai in the face with... Uh, all the leaves, as you take no damage from it. <clears throat> all right. Uh, that will conclude her regular turn. And brings us to Gretna. Cool. So, did when... Um, Damien called out to me. He just, like, called out into the ether. He didn't, like, point me out, so I'm still hidden. You feel hidden. Okay. Uh, um. So, I am going, actually, to take my short bow. Okay. And I am going to, um, use my... Specialty okay. that I just got. Um, I'll let you declare it after the hit. Okay. Hey, okay. twenty-one does hit. <laughs> twenty-one. Six for piercing, and then I get another d six because. Of being inspired, right? Uh, so the inspiration would affect your to hit roll. Okay. Um, well, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, no, you're you're good on that end. So okay. go ahead and roll damage. Eight piercing damage. Um her passive perception is greater than your hide roll, so you do not get sneak attack. She knew you were there. I wasn't trying to do sneak attack, I was just oh. trying to do my special ability with the illusionary arrow. Okay. Um, so, generally speaking, uh, if you are hidden, you will normally get advantage to those rolls for attack and with that advantage you would get your sneak attack dice on top of it um, okay no matter what 
Um, but she knew where you were, so that's why I only had to roll the once. She's friends with the trees. <laughs> um, okay, and then do you want to take movement, bonus action? Um. So that's also me saying I would recommend not using your ability with that bow. Uh, because you weren't hidden anyway. Okay, I will take it back then. You want to use movement? Bonus um, action. Since she knows where I am, I am going to just go ahead and come out. Um, so I'm going to come down with them. With y'all. Okay. Be like kind of in front of her. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Kai, your turn. Uh, Don DMs. DMs? Yep. Yes. That is my fault. I kind of can't see shit at the minute, so. <laughs> uh, this guy, go live. Yes. There you go. So I do know Fireball as a cantrip. Okay. So... She's like five foot away from you, right? Yeah. You're, you're fine. Yep. You can use it. Um, and I'll let you guys know now, these vines, they do get turns in combat. Uh, we're mm, just, great. We're just all so far away that it couldn't do anything on its turn. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit. Yeah, I was just double checking it. Alright. What the fuck? Oof. Cheated from being a not 20. No! Uh, so, your firebolt actually ends up hitting the arrow that Gretna shot into this dryad's chest. And she looks at you closer. I mean, technically, but then sets the auto on fire. Yeah, that's fine. It's got a while to burn before it gets to her chest. Mm -hmm. And... In... In Sylvan... She says... Do I know you? Do you? Ty says, I'm questioning why the fuck she just said that. Your face. Like, I hear this. So many others. T 
Tiancy. What you doing? Yeah. Uh, I want to try to shoot an arrow into her again. Okay. Um, Do I hear this since I know Sylvan? Yes. You are close enough. She's not exactly whispering. Um, Fuck yeah! Mm. Yeah. (laughs) All right. All right, so... Now with that, do I do the the sneak attack? Uh, so you got your hit. You were yeah. you were hidden. Um, <clears throat> first, roll your damage. Okay. Not I'm just the normal from the short bow, right? Uh, so in the box next to your hit DC, there'll be right. a damage box. Go ahead and slap that. Seven, seven piercing. Okay. And then go ahead and add your sneak attack damage. In total. I think I redeemed myself, guys. Damn, okay, 13. You definitely did. Uh, To be an adventurer like you, till I took an arrow to the head. Sorry. Um, okay. <sighs> this, uh, this arrow plunges into the acre of her chest oh. and just sinks about a quarter of the shaft in as the flesh rots. Damien. Yes. What you doing, okay. Chief? So, I would like to hmm. I am going to get a little bit farther away. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to go this way. About here. Do I still have line of sight here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go about here. That way if she comes on me, everybody else can kind of like gang up. And I'm going to cast Shatter. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, all right. Where are you casting Shatter? Um, I am going to cast Shatter behind her to where I don't hit anybody else but her. Uh, okay. I am not overly familiar with Shatter. What is the... um, So, um... It is a 10-foot sphere. 10-foot sphere. So you're thinking... 10-foot radius sphere. Like right there? Yeah, like... Yeah, like there, or like... Here. Okay. Oh, you... you, I don't know if you can... You can 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 move that. You should be able to move that token. Yeah, I can see where you're placing it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, about... Just where I'm not hitting anybody else but her. Okay. Uh, con save 14. Constitution saving throw. All right. That's a fail. Roll me that damage. All right. Come on. Big numbers. Twelve. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what does it look like as you cast Shatter? So, I'm, I'm always holding one of my beloved instruments. And the one that I'm holding currently is my dulcimer. The one that woke everybody up earlier. And 
as I'm moving away, I'm looking at her and I'm just like, hey, you're going to love this. Strum it as loud as I possibly can again. And it, it just um, erupts from behind her like I I I like I'm a ventriloquist throwing my voice I threw my sound from my dulcimer sweet and with that uh, a good portion this portion of this tree is also blown to smithereens and it's just left a partial stump Nice. Wait, so that was, was, was that a how do you want to do this? No. Aw, no. damn. Damn. Not quite. <laughs> no, I got excited. I only dealt 12 damage. <laughs> hey, we've, we've been hitting her. Oh, fair. That's fair. Um, okay, that leaves Lorton. Uh, has, nobody's taken damage really yet. She's tried to talk. That's kind of fucking weird. Um, Lorton will ready his shield and say a quick prayer to La Lahona and cast Guiding Bolt at second level uh, at her. Sixteen just hits. Oh, fuck yeah. So, she's gonna take 5d6 radiant damage. Whoa. Ooh, that was a hot roll. Okay. Shiny. Uh, 22. 22 points of damage. And as this bolt erupts from his hands, uh, it slams directly into that burning arrow and pushes through uh, into her rib cage and as it explodes on impact um it's left a shimmer a golden shimmer around her similar well not really golden it's a black and red shimmer a lot like lava shiny uh, shiny so next uh melee attack against her has advantage uh gretna uh nope. I want to use hellish Hold rebuke. On. That's that's my. No. Point. It's Patty's turn. <laughs> no. Um, hellish. She rebuke. don't get a turn. Hellish rebuke is a reaction, so I would have to do damage to you, and then you could. No. Use that. Yeah, um, I just read that. Damn it. <laughs> as Get her excited. as her body jerks back. Uh, from from the guiding bolt, her attention hasn't left Kai. Your people, your tree. She has them. And she begins to free action, weep. Grips to her stomach. Like, puts her arms around her stomach. I must feed. And with that, uh, she will... Cast Who's she casting this out? Um Okay. So she sees that 
the three of us. Lorton just hit her hard. She's gonna cast him, at, cast it at him. Um, as she grins and grimaces through the pain in her stomach, she does this eerie, eerie smile as her head turns slowly towards Lorton, and in this point right here you guys are within five feet of each other she casts moonbeam at second level uh so uh a ghostly flame and beam descends on us from the canopies of the trees um I don't see that it does damage immediately. Uh, and with that, she will end her turn. Um, at the start, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain, and it must make a con saving throw. Or it takes 2d10 on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. So oh. her her turn has ended, and that puts us in Gretna's turn, so I need that constitution saving throw. Remember, you still have inspiration you can use if you need it. Yep. That shit lasts um, for like 10 minutes. <laughs> probably gonna need it. Con save is 12. Uh, go ahead and... Roll that inspiration. Oh, God. Okay, so how do I roll inspiration? Uh, Just roll a d6. Yeah. Roll a d6? Yep. Go away. Thank you. Do shit. Where the D6? There it is. Hey. Nice, nice. Great inspiration. Okay, so you take half damage on a success. Uh, two, three, oh. ten. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, 19 reduced to 9. So you take 9 hey. radiant damage. Uh. Okay. Hey. Yep. What, what would you like to do for your turn? Um, move away okay. from her. Go ahead. Um. I am going to go over here near. You can see, let me find 30 feet. Yeah, right near Teetsy. 30 feet. Cool. Okay. I'm just going to move right over here. And. Try and hit her with my short bow again. Okay. As a bonus action. Uh, so that would be your primary action. Movement is not a primary action unless you dash. But you did not need to oh. dash. You okay, can totally cool. bonus action hide first and then see if you can roll stealth to get your sneak attack. There you go. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. You can kind of not buy anything to hide behind. <laughs> Uh, I'm by the tree. So I'm gonna, like, try and jump in the tree. It might take more movement than that, but... Okay. We'll go for it. Okay, you feel hidden. Okay. Then 
I'm gonna roll to hit for my short bow. Yep, take advantage. Tyra, I do advantage, just roll the A second D20. Roll twice. Yeah, yeah, roll it twice. Twenty-two hits. Twenty-two. I will take it. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. God damn rogues. <laughs> <laughs> so then I I roll my damage and my sneak attack since yes. I did. Piercing. Okay. And then sneak attack. Nice. Eight. And eight. That's sixteen so total, yeah. Jesus. So what? She making it rain. Blood. <laughs> and it's good. So... Making her bleed the icky. <laughs> yeah, it's 2d6. God damn. Okay. I thought it was 1d6. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so 16 damage. Uh, which puts us there, I believe. Okay. Kai. Okay. I'm thinking back what she said before. What do you mean she has my people's tree? But with all the fighting going on, he's conflicted of whether or not he should continue fighting himself. So, he's just gonna move ten foot back. Okay. Uh, she will take a swing at you as you leave her range. Yep, fair enough. Um, and as you see, as, as she swings, you dodge just out of the way um but you see that the look the dead look in her eyes has changed to a look of pain and not a ouch this hurts pain but something deeper uh, there is that okay uh, let me double check. Or do you want to be somewhere else? That works. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Tiancy. Okay. Uh, so, do I need to take a, my bonus action to hide before I try to attack again? Uh, you don't have to, but on your last turn, you did attack, and, yes. yeah. um, you did not bonus action hide, so you are not currently hidden. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. So that's something I have to do yeah. after I attack. You can take a bonus yeah. action before, um... <sighs> For rogue efficiency, uh, it's a lot better to attack bonus action hide, so that way your next attack keeps getting advantage from being hidden. Um, but you can bonus action hide and then attack like you did before. Okay. okay. Um, let me go ahead and uh, do a hide action okay. to try to get that. Heavy hitter. Uh, 
feel hidden. Feel hidden. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot another arrow. Okay. <sighs> yes. No. A Maybe so. Does not hit. Dag nabbit. No advantage. That's fine. Would you like to take movement? Uh, you know, I think I would like to go to... Yes, hold on. Let me do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, let me, uh... Do, do, do. Where am I? There I am. Okay, I think I'm just going to take, like, a little bit of a... I'm going to go actually, like, right here. Like, in this little nook of these trees. Okay. Five foot adjust type thing here, and then I'm just gonna sit there and hope and pray to uh, nothing because I don't have a deity right now. <laughs> okay, uh, Damien. Yes. Ah. <sighs> okay. I, I hear that there's talking, but I don't hear any... I don't understand anything that's been said, right? Do you speak Sylvan? No. <laughs> then no. <laughs> you don't have a damn clue. Cool. Um. Well then, in that case, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to. Has anybody taken any damage? Um, honestly, I don't think so. I did. Oh yeah, Gretchen, I did. I got ouchied. Oh, you didn't get hit that hard. You're fine. <laughs> um, in that case, I will. Move closer to her. Okay. If I can, there we go. Move closer, and I will get about here. And I will cast Dissonant Whispers at second level. That was a wisdom saving throw, correct? Yes. 14. That is a failure. Yeah, it is. Um, so the last thing she hears is... I pissed on a bush. <laughs> um, so... Okay. <laughs> wow. Um... And they take 18 psychic damage. Okay. Uh, she and they, is very bloody, by the way. And they move as far away from me as they possibly can. Okay. Um, with that, she puts her head in her hands as the whispers of you pissing in bushes uh, racks her soul and she takes step step and jumps into the tree trunk uh -huh. uh, and she has ran from you. You made her piss in her bushes. Lorton. <laughs> Still standing there, confused. As he always is. Uh, 
con saving throw. Fails it. That ethereal flame uh, catches onto his shield and onto his armor as he takes four damage. Nice. Upon taking that damage, she's going to move. Where, where is she? Where is she? And come right in between everyone. And he is going to use uh, his channel divinity pyroclasm and everyone within a 15 foot cube of me um so he'll grab his holy symbol and from his beard and up his shoulders erupts this molten lava that just spews directly up filling this area with ash um, and everybody in this 15 foot cube of me, so that should be everyone, regains 3d6 plus 3 health. God damn, 19 health to everyone that's been hurt. Um, Yay! And <laughs> the tree erupts into flames. And you can feel the forest scream as she pops out. As she pops out of this tree, lit a flame. Um, and it is her turn. Um, she is going to cast. So let's find out. Oh, yeah, we sure are. Okay. Uh, she is going to drop the moonbeam and cast Entangle centered on Lorton. Uh, so I need everyone to make a strength saving throw. Oh, cool. As vines and Thank God. Wow. spawn all around us, ripping through the dirt. Hey, Don. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, guy. <laughs> Okay. See, that's what uh, I was worried about. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Nat 20. 20. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Nat 20 and a fucking zero. So. <laughs> no. I know the Nat 1 as well. I have a minus 1 on strength for those. Okay. 
So, um, not one with a minus one. That's god awful. Okay. Um, that means nothing happens, right? Because it's a zero. <laughs> you wish. So, You've been going all bad. I will somehow outdo you. <laughs> everyone, everyone manages to kind of bat down the vines as they're creeping up, uh, creeping up ourselves, except for Kai. Kai being so lost and torn from the words that have been said. Um, that you are completely restrained. Um, Not in a good way. <laughs> and as these vines pull in, uh, you are drawn prone with your nat one. Uh... <laughs> um, but you hear her voice again. Please. Save them. And she pulls herself back into the tree. Gretna. So I am actually. Let's see if I my travel is thirty feet. Okay. So if I dash, is that doubled? Yeah. So you would move your first thirty feet, and then you can use mm -hmm. your action to dash and move an additional thirty feet. Um, okay. It means you would. would uh, be able to attack. Um, right. But you could bonus action hide still. Yeah. Um, so I am actually going to run towards the tree okay. that she just hid back into. Um, about 45 feet is like right in front of the tree. So... I'm gonna just run up to the tree, and since I've been hearing her speak to Kai, and I know Sylvan, I am going to ask her what she wants with the boy. Why did she take the boy? Okay. Um, okay. With a low rumble through the trees, uh, another breeze goes through the forest as the leaves and branches moan. You, you and you alone, feel her voice beside you. I was once like you till she came and poisoned us and corrupted us and now I must feed who came she... can I ask her that or do I have to wait my next turn yeah I'm starting to answer it so oh my bad Sorry. Uh, no I was mid decision because you should only get six seconds but I kind of enjoy having time to talk between uh, <laughs> she of many legs to corrupt this world.
bonus action? Hmm. Nope. Okay. Uh, Damien. Nope, TNC. Sorry. Nope. Wrong again. Kai. Uh, <laughs> Kai. <laughs> prone and being filled with brambles probing you in less than desirable places, unless you're into that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> and Kai might be. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's something you'd have to ask him in Ophelia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> strength saving throw. Oh shit! Uh, would you be another fucking zero? Three. Three. You are still trapped. Oh boy! Who would have guessed? Uh, anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> I mean, you. I guess you could try to crawl through some of the vineage. Nah, guys, still confused on what she's saying, and just responds to it. Do you have a name for her? Do you have a name of what? Mm. Whoever poisoned them. I know it was many legs, something, but like an actual name. No response. Oh no. Got it. Uh, Tiancy. Okay. Uh. Wow, she's like way up there. Well, technically. But I don't want to hit Gretna. Uh. Oh. Trying to figure this out here. Can I go through the trees? Is that, or is that considered an obstacle? You could use your movement to try and climb the tree. Uh, remember, okay. a good section of the tree is blown apart from the shatter earlier. Right. Um. Okay. Um. With the vines that are covering Kai, can they be chop chopped? Yeah, you can help Kai get out. Okay. Um, then I'd like to, um, see that is about a 15 foot, so I want to go over near, um, Kai, just put like right next to, right next, okay, and then I want to try to like take my daggers and, um, attack the vines to free them. Okay, um, let's do this. Uh, go ahead and roll me an attack roll, and we are going to add that to Kai's strength saving throw. Okay. And then, um, since I'm using my daggers, I just need to switch my equipment, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I have, um, two weapon fighting, so do I just, I just hit one dagger though, right? But I can use them both. Um, bonus yes. act, or both actions in combat, two weapon fighting. Doesn't really give me any details, but okay. Uh, that that would be okay. That's enough. the The vines break free of Kai. Cool. You're free, friend. And Hopefully, since... friend. And with the lovely team playerness, uh, Kai, you stand up as well without taking movement. <clears throat> um, I'd give you a hand, but you're m much taller than me, I believe. You can bonus action help if you're a mangrove. <laughs> <laughs> or you can bonus action help. Yeah, Kai's like six yeah. so he is very it. much taller than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. He just puts a hand on your head and uses your whole body to 
Just Help like leverage up. <laughs> that's, that's that's fine. Oh, yeah, I can handle that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah no, I think I'll use my bonus action to hide. Um, and I don't have to roll for that. No, I do have to roll for that. Yep. Yeah. Be stealthy. Fuck yeah, I'm stealthy. I'm a stealthy bitch. Woo -woo. <laughs> and you squat down just behind Lorton, and you feel pretty safe in that small man shadow. <laughs> you like right here. <laughs> you can't see me. You're hidden behind a shield. Hell yeah. Protected by beard. <laughs> Testudo formation. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, that brings us to Damien. Is she visible? She is not. She is within the tree itself. Balls. Okay. Hmm, this is where I become useless. I have to see things. No, I don't. Hold on. How far away am I? Uh, no, that's not it. This one. Uh, do, 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 crap. Okay, so. I want to get. Right up next to Gretna, because that's as far as I can go. Okay. And can I touch the tree from here? Yeah, I would say you're able to touch, like, some of the branches. Okay, I will cast Shocking Grasp. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, what do you need? Uh, I got a roll to hit. Wow. Okay. I know it's it's a it's a range of touch, but I still have to roll to hit. Uh, okay, that's a dirty twenty. Yeah. All right. He, he hit the tree, and the voltage arcs up through the tree, uh, searing through the branches as it goes and the whole tree begins to shudder uh, you hear everyone hears a deep groan as I need a token what do I have no I don't have one on there as Half of this tree falls due to the heavy damage it received earlier. Uh, who wants to roll a 1d4 for me? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Uh, I've got a fight. <laughs> North Rollies. is one. No, she already rolled it. Okay. Two is west. It's faster. So half the tree collapses down here. It's a good thing no one was standing there. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, okay. are we coming handy? And then you roll it with seven damage. Yes. All right. Uh, Lorton's turn. Um, what can he do here? Um, okay. What are the, what's the distance we're at? Do I need to move? Nope. Um. He looks at his holy symbol again and at the tree. 
that we've all seen her dive into and speaks a holy word as he casts sacred flame on the tree it having roots it automatically fails its dexterity saving throw and the tree is now lit on fire nice um And that Bar brings tree. her turn. Uh, the tree begins to shudder and shake even harder. Okay. And she... Appears from this tree. Uh, what is she gonna do? Hmm. Uh, she will emerge from this tree. And what's your cast time? Okay. With the ichor that's dripping from her chest, she begins to draw runes on her stomach and chant at the same time. And this portion of the forest is no longer silent as the animals begin to answer her. Uh, that brings us to Gretna. Okay. Um... Let's see, what do I want to do? She's so far away now. Let's see if I can move towards her. Gotta love Tree Strider. <laughs> okay, I can get close to her. Okay, so I'll move over near her. Actually, no, I won't move near her. I will... Um, I will just try and attack her with my short bow. Okay. Nope. Nope. Unfortunate. Mm. Oh, okay. That's it. No movement, no bonus action. Um. No, because if I hide in the tree, she's just gonna find me, so no. Okay. Uh. That brings us to Kai, who is now standing up and not covered in brambles. <laughs> Yay, Kai! Oh. What does a token look like on the map? The one that's named Patius. Okay. Over here. No, oh, she can't. She's miles away. What the fuck? Yep. Uh... So she's like 
85 feet, 200 feet away from me. If I'm counting right. 71. Oh, 71. Uh, there is a bit of roughage in the way. Oh, uh, yeah. So... You could move 25 feet and have direct line of sight of her if you need it. I'm going to move 30 feet towards her. Which then... So right now it's 25 feet. <clears throat> uh, do you want I can to... move 30 feet. Yes, I know you can. Uh, yeah. This vine. Ah! This is a vine. Marked as the. Ah. I was wondering why he was there. Okay, so I'll do the 25. Okay. And that she is then how far away? Fifty feet. Oh, okay. Notifications fuck off. So then I'm going to cast Acid Splash, which has a range of sixty feet. Okay. And that is a deck save of 11. Okay. That is a save. Oh, shit. But as you cast Acid Splash... You see that the runes that she has drawn all over her body are beginning to bleed and ooze as the blackness of the ichor slowly takes over what's visible of her skin. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, Tiancy, your turn. Okay, um, 25 foot adjust. Let me. I think it was right here that was 25 foot. Go. Uh, the ruler. Uh, yeah. And then. Okay, yeah, that would be within range. And I'm still hidden from my last thing, right? Because I did the stealth as my extra action. Uh, yes. Okay. And it was a definite, because... <laughs> oh, that's right, because it was like a nat 20. Okay. Um, then I'm going to attack with my, my short bow. Okay. Or at least um, try. Uh, that's a big old no... Hold on. Maybe. Take advantage. Oh, so I roll again, right? Yep. And I use the 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 DC thing again, right? Yeah. Okay. Fourteen with advantage. Damn. Does not hit. Fine. The arrow goes careening into the tree behind her. Okay. And you see well. all of you see that black ichor has now fully enveloped her body and is slowly draining into her eyes. And 
Okay. Well, uh, as a bonus action, I'm gonna try to go back into stealth mode. Okay. 17. You feel hidden? Okay, that's, that's it. <laughs> Alright, Damien. Alright. Let's go team. Let's see. I can see her now. Yes, you can. Oh, Dan, um, DMs. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to help some people out, or I'm going to try to. Um, I'm gonna look at her as the 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 black starts filling in her eyes, and I'm gonna say, "Your eyes look almost as dead as you do." And cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh shit! Okay. Okay. Um, oh my god. Uh, what? Remind me what That's it does. That's great. Um, actually, hold on. I need to move up just a little bit in order to be able to do that. Okay, you're fine. I'll move. I'll move up to there. Nope. To here. Yes. Now I'm in range to do this. Okay. Cautious hideous laughter. Um, a creature of your choice you can see within range receives everything that's hilariously funny and falls into uh, falls into fits of laughter as the spell affects it. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or fall prone, becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. Wisdom saving throw. DC 14. Okay. Aha! DC 14. DC 14. It matches it. Son of a bitch! She laughs. Anyway. <laughs> um, I will then... Um, um, bonus action. Uh, call out to Tiancy. Get them better next time. You get an inspiration. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll do better. Thanks. Okay. Uh. Okay. So with Lorton's turn, we get twenty-five feet of movement. Five, ten. 25. And around Kai, we get line of sight. Do we? How far are we for you, Kai? 53 feet. All right. Uh, having seen all of you turn your attention that way, uh, <clears throat> Lorton's going to turn and look that way as well as he runs up. And... He is going to cut off her route of escape. Uh, he's going to cast Sacred Flame on the tree behind her. Yeah. Uh, and that tree is now on fire. Nice. Uh, her turn. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. As she finishes her ritual cast of calling to the animals, uh, the first to respond are the birds. And as they begin to swarm 
around her. Um, she is going to reach under some of the now black leaves and throw one no, she'll throw two into the uh, swarm of birds and you see them fall down dead and two more vines pop up where they land Oh, yippee. Uh, and there. And she looks back to the tree and realizes she has no way around you guys and turns with her teeth barred. Or bared. No, it's barred. It's barred. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gretna. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. And you see those two uh, strips that had initially been oozing the acre now just gushing. What do you do? I mean... My dumb dumb head only... chose a spell that's only reaction, so... I guess all I can do is hit her with my short bow. Okay. Roll the hit. You're a rogue, that's what you do. <laughs> Sheesh, okay. Is that, is that a nat 20? It was a 19. A 19? Oh, damn. Okay. Jeez. I mean, you hit. You hit regardless. Roll me some damage. Nine piercing damage. How do you do this? Yes! Okay, so, um, I am going to take my short bow and draw it. And I'm going to be like, we tried to help, we tried to talk, and just let it go. And it's just going to, like, pierce straight through her chest. Sick. Uh, and as that arrow pierces all the way through, having found all the points that we've already weakened, there's a small spurt of the blight as she first hits her knees and then her head to the ground. And in that exact same instance, her entire body evaporates, as do every one of the blighted vines and trees yes. from this portion of the forest. You are now out of initiative. <clears throat> we did it, guys! What the fuck was that? Icky. Icky. Wait. Uh, Lorton's gonna run up and check. To see where that vine had been. <clears throat> and all that remains is Dylan's clothing. No. <sighs> How are we gonna tell Dylan? And with that, we will end the session. Oh my gosh. That was pretty awesome.